Welcome to Cosmic Kickback, the galaxy's favorite talk show. Hello. I'm uh, I'm Josh. My boy Nick is here. Dude's jumping in before I'm even done with the intro. <laughs> What's up, everybody? And he's excited. We're doing the first episode of 2022. Mm-hmm. As you can tell by the title, we're talking uh, the most anticipated movies, TV shows, and uh, maybe a little bit of video games in there as well. Ooh. I, I would do music as well, but if it seems like nowadays not many artists drop or give a release date ahead of time. And if they do, they usually don't even meet it. Yeah. They usually just randomly one day are like, hey, this Friday. Yeah. <laughs> they just drop this it. Friday. It's kind of, I kind of, I kind of like it. I didn't like it at first. Now I kind of, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's it. like new music whenever you want. Yeah, it's just random. Yeah. But we're talking about movies. We got a huge list of uh, all the anticipated movies coming out this year. And. Oh yeah, we got a lot. This is all before. We, we don't know if any of these dates are going to be pushed back. You know. That is true. Sometimes that happens, but. We have them in order of the month, so yep. let's just start off uh, with January. So oh, yeah. January, we got Scream 5 coming out. Next week? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's the day after my birthday. Ooh. Yeah, but Scream 5, um, okay. <laughs> I think- uh, <laughs> I've only I seen think, the very first Scream. I haven't se- I've seen Scary Movie. I haven't oh, seen okay. Scream. That's no. all you got to see. Yeah, but I think uh, two of the people from the original, the first one are coming back. Yeah, I, I think- I, I, I don't. It's Courtney Cox and yeah, someone else. Yeah, she was in the original. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know enough about the Scream franchise. I've only seen the OG. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Um, do you want to just do movies straight in a row, or do you want to also mention the TV shows coming out? Because there's one coming out the day before this. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about hey, it. Hey, Peacemaker. We got Peacemaker <laughs> dropping on my birthday. Yeah, well, that Nick's going to be excited. I'm actually uh, I'm excited for the show because... Um, it's obviously tied to the Suicide Squad, which we saw last year, and we absolutely yep. loved it. Uh, John Cena is coming back as Peacemaker. This is all written by James Gunn. Yeah, from the from his twisted mind. <laughs> yeah. But I'm excited for the show. It looks really funny from the yeah, trailers. I'm excited to see him with uh <laughs> with Eagly, his pet oh, yeah, eagle, the little eagle. Yeah. Um, actually, I think when we're recording this in a day or two. I don't know if you care, but I thought I'd mention it. Mm-hmm. Um, the season two of Euphoria comes out on HBO Max. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. I know a lot of people like that show. I haven't watched it. Yeah. I, I want to start watching it because uh, I recently got HBO Max to watch Game it's of about Thrones. about damn time, bro. So, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll watch it because Zendaya's we'll in it, isn't she? She is. And then there's a couple other people that people be simping over. <laughs> <laughs> Part uh, of the simp culture. And what he, else? There's no, nothing, no other movies for January, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I think that was the only one with Scream 5. It's a little underwhelming. Okay, well, give me. let me finish real quick with some TV shows that I just mm-hmm. thought I'd throw in there just because I didn't even know this was happening. Apparently, Hulu is making a How I Met Your Father TV show, like a spinoff <sighs> of How I Met Your Mother. I saw that. I'm <laughs> past. I'm not going to watch it. I just wanted to throw it out. I didn't even know this was happening. Yeah, I saw the trailer for it. Oh. I'm a big fan of uh, the How I Met Your Mother series. Yeah, I've I like it. watched that shit like, I don't know can count on one hand how many times i've rewatched it but yeah uh i don't know this just seems like a lazy like rehashing of like a popular show well when, what's funny is i didn't even know this either but i learned while when i found out this was happening mm-hmm. there was another show made by cbs called how i met your dad which was the same idea and they did a pilot and the pilot flopped really bad god so they never made the rest of the season and then now they're making how i met your father I, the only thing I think this has going for it is I think Hillary Duff is playing the main girl. Like the girl that's trying to find. Oh, who's looking for the, the father. Yeah, the father. She's telling the story. Damn. But I don't I've, I don't even know if I've seen her in a movie. I know she's in no. Legally Blonde, right? Is that yeah. her? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. Legally Blonde? I haven't seen it. <laughs> Dude. I mean, but, we can talk more about that yeah, later on in the year. Let's jump into February. February. So for movies, we got Jackass Forever. Um, okay. It's the last <laughs> I, one, right? Yeah, I think it's the last one that they're making. It's, let's see, because it's Jackass 1, 2, 3. Yeah, so this would be the fourth one. It's supposed to be like four ever. Yeah, forever. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm excited for it. I like watching the Jackass <laughs> films. Maybe I'm not going to go into theaters and pay money and, and <laughs> do all that shit for it. But if it's on streaming, you know, I'll watch it with my friends. I don't even think I've seen any of the Jackass movies in full. I've seen like parts of them. You know, like the yeah. clipped online or whatever, but I haven't gone, sat down and watched any of them. It's nothing. It's not like the Impractical Jokers movie. Oh, they like, do crazier shit than Impractical Jokers. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, like, 
it doesn't really follow a story. They just kind of go to different places and, shit, right? and do dumb shit. Yeah. yeah. They're like, let's strap a, a rocket to my back and, <laughs> and launch me somewhere. <laughs> but oh, yeah. I, I'll watch it with the boys. Jackass forever. Yeah, so I'll probably see it. Next, uh, for February, we got Death on the Nile. Um, and I'm going to start saying the dates. I'm sorry. February 11th is when Death on the Nile is coming out. Um, that's all I really know about it. Well, I want to throw <laughs> in one it? thing. I don't even... This This is going to be another Agatha Christie movie based on her uh, detect, or crime detective novels. Have oh, you here read? we go. Yeah. So, so she... She did the, the, the not she, because she wrote them back in the day. But these mm-hmm. movies, the last one they did was Murder on the Orient Express. I've heard about which that. Which is probably her most famous one. Yeah, everyone yeah. in high school read that. But We like, had to read it for one summer reading thing. Yeah. But it's she makes good books. I enjoyed that book, actually, when I read it. That's cool. I love a good whodunit. And um, this one, though, is kind of funny. Because back when they announced the cast, they were kind of doing the same thing that these who do done it's tend to do they just get a ton of big names to be like all the suspects you know yeah and they call all interact and all that's kind of cool um but <laughs> Bro, russell brand is in this yeah but what's what funny fuck? about it is like two or three of the people in the cast of the death on the nile they have had controversies Damn. <laughs> before it's came out and one of them is like probably canceled but i don't know and then the other one is like borderline maybe and then I don't remember the other one. But Do you I know just, the names or you just know like... Oh, Army Hammer. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what he did, right? Uh, He did some really weird... Let's not get into it. <laughs> I like Army Hammer. Damn, bro. I like... Uh, I mean, not now. <laughs> <laughs> did we but, ever talk about what like this on the podcast? Or did we just ignore it? I don't think so. Make Just give a brief summary. I don't uh, want to This dude's weird. Um, text messages were leaked. Apparently, I don't know... if. Oh, man, it goes deep. I think he has a family, right? Yeah. So that means that not only was he apparently cheating on his wife (laughs) with the texting somebody, but he was texting them whack ass shit, like how he's like bloodthirsty. Like he's he's saying some cannibalistic shit. And, you know, I don't I don't want I don't want to go out and say that this man be actively eating people. Do it. I don't (laughs) want to say that. But. He's definitely weird, man. Like, I understand everyone's got their, like, kinks, you know? But There's a line <laughs> there's to a, be drawn. This is, you, you, you don't say, like, oh, man, I I felt so animalist. I think he said animal type I want to taste your blood. And he said something about eating a heart. Bro, what it's It's fuck? weird. I, you could go look it up for yourself. That's as deep as I want to get into it. <laughs> I don't think he said anything, too. I think that he just stayed quiet. And just, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't. I could be wrong. Maybe he made a statement and said it's not true, but I don't know. Jeez. He and I know he's in this, so that's gonna be funny. Especially if he's the guy that killed the person God. in the movie. <laughs> the right, that, it's gonna get delayed, bro. The writers are gonna be like, we gotta rewrite. It might be delayed. We gotta do some rewrites. And then the other one is Latith, Latia Wright or Latitha Wright. She played um, Black Panther's sister, Shuri. Oh yeah. Uh, apparently, she had some controversy recently, where. The rumor was that they wanted to make her the new Black Panther, mm-hmm. but she was refusing to get vaccinated. She kind of did the same thing Kyrie Irving did. You know Kyrie Irving? Yeah. Um, he's not playing right now because he's chosen to not uh, get vaccinated, um, like a choice thing. So okay. he's not getting the bag. He, he's I not think getting the bag. He isn't He's because he's, he's on the team, but he's not playing. Yeah, they're not going to pay you. Um, I think he's actually only playing home games now, but the only reason why they're allowing that is because so many people on that roster are injured that they have less people than like amount to play. Yeah. So they were like, okay, like we'll let them play home games. Damn. But she is doing something like that and people were like canceling her and because she was delaying the filming of something apparently because she didn't want to get the vax. Yeah, because everyone, everyone, what there, I've seen from like behind the scenes for like when they do film productions now is like, People wear masks. People get tested before. Yeah. Everyone needs to be vaccinated. Apparently she's getting pissed about all that. that I don't know. So she might fumble the bag as well. If she, she, she could be literally the next Black Panther. That's so dumb, bro. Because her character <laughs> is like, I just watched Black Panther recently. She's uh, all about technology and improving <laughs> shit. And like, just because something works doesn't mean like it can be improved. But in reality, she's like. Yeah, I'm not going to get vaccinated. Yeah, well, I, who knows? That's so weird. It sucks, but Death on the Nile coming out. Uh, <laughs> Uncharted, February 18th. I yes! I know you're hyped for that. 
You know what, bro? We're going to see this. I think it's going to be a... F- I'm going to predict you. I'm giving it a four or a three. Out of ten? Yeah. Okay. It's not going to be good. I'm going to give it... I'm probably thinking a five. But yeah, we got Uncharted. Yeah, yeah. February 18th coming out. It's uh, to- Tom Holland and <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Uh, um, Mark. Mark. <laughs> the only TV show I got for February. Uh, February. You remember the old cartoon on Disney called The Proud Family? Mm-hmm. Apparently, they're making a reboot of it on Disney oh. Plus called The Proud Family, like Louder and Prouder or something like that. Is it still? Car- it's not like live it's, action. It's right? cartoons. Okay, still. that's just, it, the animation looks the same. Good. So that might nice. be good. Who knows? Nice. We'll see. It made me happy. <laughs> all right, moving on. I think that's all for February. Yeah, we on March. So going on to March, this is probably my most anticipated movie of the year. I don't know about Josh. Yeah. Uh, we got the Batman movie it's coming out March fourth. Man, with that's Robert so Pattinson. Soon. I know, dude. I'm, I'm actually really excited. That's like two months away. Yeah, it Man, is. That's soon. that's super exciting. I'm excited for that. We've been tracking this film literally since it was announced at one of the fandoms, and that first trailer I'm, was insane. Yeah, dude, that w- that was perfect. God. All all we've been seeing like from this movie, uh, despite like some of the halts of like Robert Pattinson getting sick and production getting delayed. Apparently I think there was a rumor where he got. Him and Zoe Kravitz had sex on the hood of the bat. That's awesome, bro. I love that for you. <laughs> I, I heard that was a rumor, and they had to delay production because they had to sanitize. At first. Jesus, I, that sounds stupid. That sounds like made up. No. I don't know. But even if that happened, bro, Can you imagine being like a production assistant. <laughs> you're just like you worked like a long ass shift, and you're just closing down the set. Like, all right, gotta go put away the Batmobile. <laughs> and then Robert Pattinson's just like having sex. I'd be like, oh, damn it. And then they're, like, <laughs> they're in the costumes. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for Batman. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm excited for that movie, too, though. I think w- we've said this time and time again. I think the look, the feel, the story that they're kind of going for, it's just got me excited. It's for looking it. like they're going to do some detective shit, which I've yeah. wanted Batman to do since they yes. made Batman movies. Yeah. I-, I will say, since this movie was announced, I don't think my hype has really like died down. I've kind of just had to like suppress it until yeah, the movies you know come too. out. I think this is the most hype I've been for a, a while for a movie. Yeah. Uh, only thing I got for TV shows that month is Atlanta season three. Oh, I know you like Atlanta. I haven't watched it. I've heard it's good. Yeah, it's a good show. I, I'm, I plan. It's on my list. You know, I'm gonna watch it eventually. Yeah. It comes out March 24th. Start of season three. I think that's FX, right? Yeah, FX and FX on Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, we've we've skipped over the last month, but there was two video games that came out in February. I, I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, throw them in real them. quick. Uh, February eighteenth. That's the same day that what's it called comes out. Horizon. Uncharted. Oh, Uncharted. Uncharted comes out that same day. Horizon Forbidden West is dropping. That's the game. It's Ooh. a PlayStation exclusive. The, they're actually the first ones on sale right now on the PlayStation Store. I actually thought about getting this game because I was watching uh, kind of like the the producers and like the video game creators. They were like breaking it down and how it was going to be cool like to play it on the PlayStation 5. It actually looks pretty cool. It does. Because like you're, you're like exploring the like Forbidden West part of like yep. this world and like you're this hunter lady. I don't know. It looks really cool. I, I like games that like take a... A fresher breath air, I guess. On uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I have the actually, the the first one. I haven't played it yet. But oh, there's a first one. I, I want to play it before this comes out. I got I cool. got about a month and a half to do it. <laughs> Elder Ring comes out February 25th. Do you know what Elder Ring is? I think we. Yes, I do actually now. Since we so talked for the about game it, awards, we were like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, and yeah. We skipped over it. Now I know what it is, and I feel like shit for skipping over it because yeah. I'm like, "Dude, that's fucking awesome." Yeah. So pretty much from what I heard, uh, I talked to my friend Marco about it. He's yep. a big Dark Souls fan, and uh, I was telling him like, "Yo, for Christmas, like, do you want me to buy us a game, or like, do you want me to buy us a game because we game share?" And he's like, "Dude, get Elden Ring." He's like, I really want to play it. And I was like, what the hell is that? Like, I heard about it. <laughs> we and shit on it. Yeah, pretty much it's like the creators of Dark Souls and yep. uh, Bloodborne, they mm-hmm. came together to make a new uh, Souls game, but it's going to be different from the past iterations of the game they made. Like, it's, I think, more accessible to people. It's, like, super uh, playable and easy. I don't know um, about gameplay-wise, but the thing that got me very interested and sold on it... Okay. 
So I know the Dark Souls and Bloodborne games are really yeah. good. Yeah, they're fun. Haven't played them yet, but I have them all downloaded. <laughs> I just need to press play. <laughs> Dude, when you play them, man, you get sucked into them. You, you could beat the first one easily, bro, in like a day or two. Ooh, okay, I might do that. And I know Demon Souls is on sale right now. Yes. I game sure of Jaden. I asked him to buy it because I bought the last game. Bro, and I think he's going to do the that. The concept time. art for this game is crazy. Yeah, the game looks amazing because and what's very interesting. What and the this, fuck is that? This might—I don't know if Marco mentioned this to you, hmm. but I, if he did, didn't, you're gonna get even more excited for it. Okay. So it's the creative minds behind Dark Souls and all that, the developers. Yes. But they also have teamed up with George R. R. Martin. Yo. Who wrote Game of Thrones, The Song of Ice and Fire books. Dude, hell yeah! So he is writing either the story or helping with the creative choices and stuff like that in some way. He's some kind of he has part in this okay. in shaping the world and the game, which is uh, that, I I'm such a fan of dude. Game that's of super exciting. So that that made me even more excited for this. Okay. So I'm hoping this. I have high hopes for this game now. This is actually probably this has jumped from being like I don't give a fuck about this to I'm gonna pre-order this. So yeah. I'm gonna play this shit like as I'm soon definitely as I gonna can. buy it now. I did not know that. Yeah, it's that's what really the fuck cool. Marco. Did, I mean, you probably didn't know I watched I don't Game think, of Thrones. I don't even think Marco has watched Game of Thrones. He don't know who George R. R. Martin yeah. is. Mar- Marco's the type where it's like I'm waiting for the hype to die down. Yeah. It's like, bro, the show's <laughs> ended. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's um, cool though. No, Elden, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited for, for Elden Ring now. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so March. let's jump back into movies. Yeah, and moving into movies, we got uh, The Lost City. I thought I would just throw this in there. Okay. Uh, it comes out March 25th. Um, it's a comedy adventure with Sandra Bullock, who pretty much plays this novelist who is kidnapped by this billionaire. And uh, it's played by Daniel Radcliffe, Harry okay. Potter. And what Daniel Radcliffe wants is oh, like, he wants Sandra Bullock to go and find this lost treasure that she writes about in her books. Um, and yeah, it just looks like kind of a journey to the center of the earth movie. I think Channing Tatum is in it. Uh, Brad Pitt, Patty Harrison, Divine Joy Randolph. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was just, it just caught my eye because of the cast and the the name of it. But I that's coming to, out March twenty fifth. Check out on that. Uh, this, we're still in March, right? Yes. Real. That's quick. it for movies. Okay, that, so I'll just throw in real quick. So this is March, but it's to be announced what specific date. So that could mean it doesn't even drop march could be delayed the way okay. we've seen things the last couple of years but yeah. i want to throw it in because i didn't know this was happening but i actually thought this is pretty interesting an hbo max limited series called winning time the rise of the lakers dynasty so i was like okay this is gonna be like a the last, last dance. dance documentary type thing okay but i'm even more interested now because it's a limited series but it's not a documentary it's more like a biopic Okay. So you know how those movies where actors play like a real life people? Yeah. So this is one on that. There's going to be 10 episodes and it's going to be about the rise of the 80s Lakers. And uh, it is produced by Will Ferrell and Adam McKay. What? Yeah. Who were good. This is actually kind of funny. I didn't know this. Yeah. Will Ferrell. Uh, I guess he's a big fan of the Lakers and the basketball. That's cool. And he wanted to produce this with his friend um, McKay, Adam McKay. Mm-hmm. But they were longtime friends and producing partners. But now that now they've broken up as friends, as well what? as partners, because apparently Will Ferrell wanted to play the role of the Lakers owner Jerry Buss, but Adam McKay knew Ferrell wanted this. And went behind his back and cast John C. Riley in the role. And Dude, so yeah, that's like his uh, stepbrothers. Yeah, his stepbrothers guy. Yeah, and they were in it together. So Will Ferrell was pissed <laughs> Dude, I'd about be that. Pissed as hell. Yeah, he was mad because he said he knew that. I mean, I'm sure he can't, and he can't like take the role away from him after he gave it to him. Yeah. And Will Ferrell is probably friends of him as well. So he's like, Nah, bro. Like it's cool. I guess it's it's, it's on him. This ain't on you. Damn. But yeah, so that's happening. Uh, John C. Riley is going to be the owner. There's a couple other people when they're playing it as well. Sally Fields in this. Uh, Jason Siegel. Okay. Um, oh, I like Jason Siegel. Uh, Quincy Isaiah is making his screen debut as Magic Johnson, so he's playing, you know, the Lakers Showtime point guard. Hell yeah! So yeah, that's this is interesting. I'm more interested in it now that it's not another documentary and it's like an actual biopic. Yeah, it's interesting to see like what they're going to show. Yeah. From, so. Like, that's dropping either in March or it might be delayed because there's no official date, just March to be announced. Okay, that's exciting. That's cool. Yeah, I like go. the Lakers. 
All right, so is that it for TV shows then? Yeah, that's the only thing I got for March. All right, jumping back over to movies. We're going into April. April 1st, we got Morbius dropping. Oh, yeah, it's later. That's the... It was supposed to come out next month or this month? I swear this month or next month, like February. It was very soon. I swear it was February 11th or 12th. Who knows? They pushed... I sent you something and they've changed it. This movie was going to come out, I think, in 2020 at first. Yeah. And they, it's been delayed and had like seven different release dates at this point. Yeah, I f- It feels dumb because it feels like it's, the movie is done at this point. Because yeah, you can't I, release a, a trailer for a movie without at least half of it done. And they've had trailers out for years. I know, yeah. Who knows? I feel like they might have switched. Maybe, they, maybe they're filming a post-credit because No Way Home happened. And maybe they're mm-hmm. like, oh, let's switch this up. But I feel like they should know. That would be cool. Creatively what happened in No Way Home. Yeah. But they're not technically connected if anything he's connected more to venom i don't know it's confusing yeah i don't really know much about morbius if i'm being honest yeah um all right next we got oh, april hyped, 8th you're hyped for this Nick. <laughs> sonic the hedgehog 2 is coming out is it just called sonic the hedgehog 2 or i, th- I think so yeah yeah sonic, sonic the hedgehog 2. 2 is coming out uh sonic is back and he's joined by his two oh, fan yeah? favorite characters from is the he? popular video games uh jim carrey he's uh reprising his role as dr robotnik uh, have you seen how he looks? Oh yeah, I love the new yeah, mustache. I love the look they gave. <laughs> he him. looks they, just like he him looks now. like the OG Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, and then um, Knuckles is in this one too, he and just he's voiced Elba. by he just Elba. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty I think funny. that's a funny cast. I actually like it. Yeah, and I think Tails is voiced by the lady. I don't know her name. Apologies, but that's voiced Tails in the, all of the games. Oh, that's cool. So it's like the actual Tails voice actor from the nice. games. So if you're a, if a Sonic lover, hell yeah, you're excited. Dude, um, what, what would you do if they went back to the old design <laughs> for Sonic Two? You know, I kind of just changes. You know, I don't think they would have finished the entire cut. They probably just finished the CGI for that first trailer of it. Yeah. So there's probably no cut that has the original Sonic design in full, like fully CG'd in VFX. <laughs> but I would love to see like the original cut with how he looked because he looked so what weird, the fuck, man. Dude, I don't. They they tried making him look more like an actual hedgehog. He looked like uh, the cat in the hat, bro. Yeah, it was it so looks, it's off-putting. very odd. I don't know who approved that, but I don't know. Hey, bro, that was the biggest marketing plot ever, bro. It, you know Everyone, what? It actually could have been. Everybody got like so hyped about it, but I, I'm excited for Sonic. Yeah. I might go see it. Or does it come out on HBO Max? I I think that deal's done now that this. That, oh. I think that was only for last year. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, the Sandman uh, we talked about this briefly before on April not Sandman from Marvel mm-hmm. but the Sandman like a DC villain character type thing we, we, I think we p- talked about it before on the DC Talk fandom um, Charles Dance is in it oh really and yeah it's a from Netflix a, it's a Netflix show Charles Dance is so good yeah though. and it looks it looks interesting I think I might watch it okay that's all I gotta say I think I'm gonna watch it because Charles Dance is in it I like him I bet you do I will, bro. All right, so moving on. April 15th? Yes, April 15th, we got Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Did you see the trailer for this? They just dropped one. I don't think we talked about no, it. No, I have not. There's, I mean, it just I looks haven't like seen the second Fantastic Beasts, The oh, really? Crimes of Grindel. It sucks. Okay. I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to, I think, oh man, I don't, I like Harry Potter. Yeah. Fantastic Beasts 1 is all right. Okay. The second one sucks. I don't know what went wrong, but that movie is stupid in so many ways. I don't know what... It seems like they did a lot of reshoots and they fucked it up. And now, the biggest thing with this one, if you haven't heard, Nick, originally they cast Grindelwald as... uh, What's his name? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. And he's out because of the thing with Amber Heard, the legal stuff. Yeah. And people are mad because Amber Heard has keep kept her roles. Like she's in Aquaman two still. Yeah, she. It seems like she got canceled, <laughs> and then like, I don't know why, but she just kind of was like, nah. Like she brushed it <laughs> off. She said, nah. Y'all can't cancel me. <laughs> That's. I mean, I don't want to like go into it, but it, it seems kind of unfair. Yeah, it does. Like it seems like there hasn't really been anything. Like repercussions. De- deliberately proven. For either side, I, I know a lot of people are going to defend Johnny Depp and say that there's more evidence of her being crazy and doing crazy shit. Yeah, which there may be. I, I'm not saying there isn't. Yeah, allegedly. 
Um, <laughs> without saying, but I, I mean, being real realistic, I think she seemed like an insane chick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think it's kind of unfair that she's kept her roles, but he hasn't. He's been recast as um, Mads Mikkelsen is playing him. Which oh. I think that's a good cast. You know what? Yeah, I do like Mads Mikkelsen. And He's if a anything, good actor. I think he should have been cast in the first place. Like, no offense to Johnny Depp. No, oh, yeah. I think Mads Mikkelsen, to me, they, seems they almost kind of like look a, the same. Huh? I so said they almost kind of look the same. Are they gonna like? Address I don't. I that? think they don't know. I don't think they are. Oh. It, it, I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, that's coming out the fifteenth. I guess we'll see it. I, uh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So April twenty second. April twenty second. We have Disappointment Boulevard coming out. Um. So let me talk about this because I don't know if you know about it. So the is director. This the Joaquin. Uh. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix is in this film, and it's the third film from Ari Aster, and he did Midsommar. He did Hereditary, which are two films uh, that I like, but I don't ever want to see again because they're so, <laughs> so fucking off putting. So is this another horror type thing? Yeah. So Ari Aster does a lot of horror films. The past two films he's done have been horror. But this one is kind of going to be about um, this businessman and entrepreneur kind of coming up um, in Hollywood. And another interesting thing is Ari Aster is also collaborating um, with the cinematographer from his past two uh, movies. So it's going to be like a little bit of the same feel. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, I'm interested because I like Ari Aster and I I like Walking Phoenix. Phoenix, Yeah, Yeah, I'm interested to see what they're going to do together. I still got to watch Hereditary and uh, Midsommar. I think you should see Hereditary. That one's that one's cooler. I've heard they're both good. I've just heard Midsommar apparently gets really fucking weird. It just and get there's a lot of very disgusting imagery. Yeah. From what I've seen. Yeah, like or it's not seen but heard. Yeah, it's a good movie, but I feel like the last forty five minutes, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. It's <laughs> a, it it's like the. Wait, did you see it with uh, your girlfriend or did you watch it with your parents? I watched it with my girlfriend. Like we saw it in theaters. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> is this was, a movie you'd take your mom to go see no don't take your kids to see it I don't even know what kind of movies uh, Ari Aster <laughs> like oh, what the man. demographic is but yeah I'm ex- I'm excited for that movie Disappointed Boulevard it's coming out in April nice so are we, are we jumping to May yeah is there any TV shows or any games in the April the only thing April was Sandman honestly all the games are just to be announced on the date yeah, there's like three that have dates, and we talked about two of them already for February. Maybe near the end we can talk about all the stuff that's to be announced. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna save most of the game stuff for the ending because the rest of it is all besides one in November. Okay, that it has a confirmed date. All the other ones are to be announced, but we they are coming out this year. Okay, besides maybe one that I think will be delayed, but we'll talk about that later. All right, so going on to May, we got Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We got a little excited. sneak peek of this from uh from No Way Home. There was like pretty much a full trailer. It was or, a trailer, yeah. like a, a and then they released the trailer like a week after. It's yeah, it's all you could watch it now. Yeah, so we can actually talk a bit about this movie because I don't think we have pretty oh, much. Oh yeah, we we didn't get to because you had to go to work. Yeah, I know. And we had to we had to cut it. You were like, "Hey, bro, I don't think we can do it." I and like, I was we like, can't. "Yeah, all right, we'll talk about this for yeah. a bit then." Uh, let's see what has happened in this trailer. So I mean, pretty much what the setup is, is it looks like Doctor Strange is fighting himself. Potentially. And if you've seen the the What If show, I, I think it was the fourth or fifth episode, the Doctor Strange episode. That episode's the best one. Yeah, that, that, that one is pretty cool. It's and really you know, dark. It makes sense now since it, if this is the same Doctor Strange from that one, the evil version of him. Yeah. It makes sense that that episode is the best one because they would have to put their best writers on it. Mm-hmm. Because if they knew, OK, this guy's going to be a multiverse of madness. Uh, they we gotta they set like, him up. Yeah, we gotta make sure he's set up well and do it. Th- that makes sense, you know. That yeah. makes sense where he's got the best uh, episode. Oh, so, uh, a couple things about this one, since we're gonna break down the trailer, I guess, right now as well. Yeah. America Chavez is a character that you can briefly see in a couple shots in this trailer. Do you know who America Chavez is? No. So she is, and I'm not looking this up. You can look it up if you want to I'll see what she up. looks like, but. Um, I know she has some really odd powers. She's she has like reality hopping or some weird dimension shift shit. I don't know much about her. Here, I'll look it up. So, 
but she's very Superhuman weird. Human speed, strength, durability. She has the power for flight, interdimensional tra- uh, travel. Yeah. Bioluminescence, bulletproof skin, teleportation. <laughs> Bro, she just sounds like fucking op as hell yeah, so she's you can see her a couple times in the trailer i don't know if they're gonna give her all of this in the movie just because she's in the shot where we see what looks like shuma Guraf, which is <laughs> he's shuma that Guraf. tentacle looking monster thing oh yeah remember yeah. and then dr she it throws a bus at dr strange and he cuts it in half yeah she's standing behind him in that shot and you can tell because she's wearing her like jean jacket with the american star on it I actually wrote some notes for that Spider-Man episode because I expected to talk about this. Okay. So we'll pull pull those up really quick. Um, I'm just looking at the images and stuff for this poster. Yeah, yeah. Or for the movie. Okay, so the squid monster looks like it's Shuma Gurov. A lot of people were thinking it's Shuma Gurov because Shuma Gurov (laughs) said it like four times. I know. The name's so (laughs) stupid. Just say Shuma. Shuma Gurov. Uh, Shuma Gurov. Is a tentacle monster from the comics who okay. is one of Doctor Strange's bigger enemies, but it's actually not him. It's what? actually Gargantos. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's, it's another squid monster. <laughs> oh, of course, there's another one. Yeah, but this one's more so like My just bad. a monster. The other one has like actual magic and like crazy shit going on. Yeah. Um. Okay. Wanda's back. Scarlet Witch. Nice. She, I was. I'm. I'm so hyped to see him on screen together. I don't think I, we I, have. I know you'd be going crazy for her. I don't think we've seen Doctor Strange and Wanda on screen. Actually, you know they. We, I don't think in they Endgame maybe. Much. In they Endgame. haven't really interacted one on one though. Yeah. Which I'm very excited for. Yeah. Uh, it's actually funny. This is confirmed by Kevin Feige and a couple others, um, showrunners for WandaVision. They originally were going to have Doctor Strange have a cameo. Where he shows up like in Bruh. person, but they had to cut it because that show got put on hold because of COVID when it was first. Because that show dropped at the beginning of 2020. Yeah. So, what was it 2020 or was it 2019? 2019. No, it was last year. Yeah, yeah, 2020. That's when all the shows 2021. Right. 2021. Jesus. We're in 2022. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That seems so weird. Um, <laughs> it's a Mandela effect. It's Mandela so effect. odd. <laughs> but no, yeah, he was going to be in it and they cut it. And that's why, you know how they had those random commercials mm-hmm. and it got to one where it was like a, a fake pill or something like called Nexus pills or something. And it yeah. was like, ask your doctor if you, this is good for you. It was supposed to be like Doctor Strange, like ask your doctor. And there was supposed to be little clues. That'd be funny. Because the point of it was, is that all the commercials were supposed to be him trying to break through her world and like send her yeah, messages. Yeah, like Wanda. It was supposed to, yeah, it was supposed to be him Dude, trying to contact Dude, that would have been so her. cool. Yeah, and that's what it was going to be, but it got cut. Damn. Yeah, it'd be like that. So <sighs> what else is uh, going on? Oh, you Mordo's in this. Do you remember Mordo? He oh was yeah, in Doctor Strange one. He's got yeah. a fresh new cut. He's got the dreads. <laughs> the he's dreads. looking drippy. You know he is. He's looking, he's looking drippy. He looks good. He's the. He's gonna have beef with Doctor Strange, right? Yeah, because he got mad at him for using the time stones, and and then at the end he was like, "No more sorcerers." And then no he, more. He took away that dude's legs and he crippled. Him. Oh yeah, remember? Dude, that was so fucked up. He what did like, he hey, what, do? Yeah, he's like, "What do you need, bro?" He's like. <laughs> he just yeah. took away his no! and then he left he him. left him on the court <laughs> on the court <laughs> cause like he got his legs back cause he could play basketball and he was like yeah he's like cause he chose to just heal himself and not do like all the extra wizard yeah. stuff and that's it, fine yeah, like he's a like sleeper wizard yeah it'd be like if Doctor Strange just wanted to go back to be a doctor a neurosurgeon yeah like what harm does that do yeah and this is he was like nah you ain't balling nah. up no more man <laughs> so Mordo is back give me that shit. he says something to Strange right before we see uh, uh what's the Carmitage get covered Carmitage. in a big cloud. Um, at the end, it looks like Doctor Strange is doing chaos magic with all the red m- magic that Wanda does. Yeah. So it looks like he's doing some interesting stuff. One interesting detail that you can see in this is when Wanda's levitating, doing like her like sitting crisscross, and she's doing some you know magic. Yeah, her magic. She had, her hands are up, and the very tips of her fingers are black. And people have pointed out that Agatha from WandaVision, all of her fingers were black, like really dark black. Yeah. To show that she, when she's using her magic, her dark magic. And people are speculating that Wanda might end up 
kind of going too like using too much chaos dark magic trying to help but she's ending up being more of a problem which she tends to do uh, as she did in WandaVision. I guess so. Yeah. Um, but it, that's interesting that her okay. six of her fingers are slightly black. That's a good noticed. catch. Yeah, it's a good catch. Nice. I think that's most of what I've noticed from that trailer that I wrote down. Any, anything you got to say from it? Uh, I, I think it's just crazy, man. It's take, like, when was the last Doctor Strange movie we 20, had? It was 2017. 20, no, it was 2016. 2016? We went to it went together. Yeah, dude, it's been literally six years. Was that the movie that we made you sneak in the Cheez-Its? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> if y'all don't know, bro. We, we, we made Nick. When we first started hanging out with Nick, we were That's telling him, hey, bro, if you want to be part of squad, you got to get initiated. Yeah. <laughs> there was no real initiation. We were just fucking y'all with him. Y'all just fucking with me, bro. And we, I just randomly were like, hey, you got to sneak in all the snacks then. So we just gave <laughs> Nick a ton of random shit that we had. And I gave him like a a full almost full bag of cheez it's and he just shoved them in his pants like I took it out the box and put it in my pants yeah and then and then in the movie theater he just unzips his fly and he's like it's like sitting there and he's like yeah y'all want it and then i was like dude i'm not even gonna eat it bro that's just been in your pants bro you gross and then he got mad he's like bro i fucking did all this shit and then he like threw the cheez it's on the ground dude nobody wanted them <laughs> That was so dumb. Oh, man. Was good funny. times, though. It was good. We got to do it again for Dr. For, Strange. Yeah, we'll bring it back. <laughs> got to do it again. Uh, now it's May 6th, so we're, we're obviously excited for that. Okay, yeah. May 20th, Dude. Nick. Your favorite movie's coming out with a, a, a third one. May 20th. We got Legally Blonde 3. I haven't seen the first. I did not know they made a second one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't um, either. But the first one's good. Uh, I've I don't heard know. the first is a classic. Yeah, literally this girl gets dumped by her boyfriend in college. As and she's like. I'm going I'm to, he's like, I'm going to Harvard. I'm going to be, or no, I'm going to Columbia University in New York. I'm going to be a lawyer. And she's like, you know what? Like, I'm going to follow you too. And she actually works her way up. She passes the bar and becomes a lawyer. And yeah, it's just a cool movie of like, nice. You can do anything. But I think Sounds they're, uh, they're going to have uh, the same girl that was in the first Hillary one. Duff. Yeah. That's her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. She's going to be in it. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll see it with my girlfriend. She likes Legally Blonde. Yeah, sounds like a sounds like a fun little thing if you're a fan of those. Next, we got May 27th, Top Gun Maverick. Dude, th- this Top movie didn't Gun, come out. He's old now. This didn't come out already? <laughs> no, it got Dude, delayed. I swear to God. <laughs> it got delayed. I saw trailers for this in 2020, bro. <laughs> yeah, this movie's been delayed a lot, man. Jesus. I, I'll be real with you, Nick. I might get some hate for this. But I still haven't seen the OG Top Gun. It's okay. I know you've seen it because you were in RTC and you guys loved to. <laughs> I didn't love it. You guys love to be like, oh, yeah, man. Planes. Let's go JROTC. Dude, Let's no. Go. <laughs> That's not who I am now. <laughs> the first one's good. I think you should see it. I know the first one's a classic. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll probably watch it. But Because uh, we're probably going to. You know, this is one of those movies where I typically be like, yeah, I don't care. But maybe we'll see it just yeah. because we have the podcast. I mean, we're looking at all the movies this year. This is kind of our to-do list. We got <laughs> that's true. We got a lot of hey, shit. Hey, all to do. of put all of these movies, count them up, and then put like times fifteen, and that's how much money we're spending on movies this year. Yeah, Jesus, dude, I don't like that. <laughs> so after that, June is that done for May? Then yeah, we're done for May. We're jumping right into summer. Is there wow. any summer no, movies? Here we come. Yeah, so summer movies. June 10th, we got Jurassic World Dominion coming out. This is the third one in the, I guess, new trilogy that they have with Chris Pratt. I'm actually excited for this. I'm excited for this one, too. I think that the first and second ones are actually pretty good. I think Chris Pratt is great in them, and I I like the the characters and stuff that they uh have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, The second one's ending, they bring back uh, Jeff Goldblum's character. Yes. And he's just like, there's dinosaurs uh, walking around. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what are we gonna do hmm? yeah and he's doing all that <laughs> but I, I they're also bringing back um oh is it what's sam neil is that his name the sam, original oh yes the original the uh one. he's back, paleontologist yeah and i believe so is the leading lady from the original one i can't remember her name oh my god hold on i'm about to look, look it up, up right now this, but the ogs are coming back i just think jeff goldblum's in this as well um they're coming back they're going to be teaming up i guess with chris pratt christopher pratt Laura Dern. Laura Dern, that's her name. That's her name. She was in uh, Wedding Marriage Story. Story. Marriage Story. Yeah, yeah, that's a good movie. It is good. So that's uh, that's going to be coming out soon. I'm very excited, actually. Yeah. The dinosaurs are literally just vibing now in the world. Yeah, because the island is fucked up. 
Well, remember they they fucked up because they took all those ones from the island and they were trying to auction them off. And then they let dude, them loose and they just dude, ran out. In the when wild. will you learn? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The plot of the first one was oh, yeah. we, we shouldn't even have an island full of all these dinosaurs and shit. Because like the fucking park failed, like the defense system failed. And then like, you know what? We good. <laughs> Let's take them back to the United States and auction them. That went bad. Yep. And I don't fucked know. Up. I'm not complaining. I, I love Jurassic yeah, Park. But I think like, I'm excited for this. Yeah. That comes out when June 10th. June 10th. So yes. right before that, June 3rd, we're getting uh, The Boys Season 3. Oh. Have you seen the first two seasons? Yeah, I have. I'm excited. I'm excited for, this. for it. A I, lot, I, the Boys is actually very. I'm excited. I'm hoping this one, Homeland, just goes it. crazy. Tops it off. Like, cause yeah, he, they kind of tapped into that in Season 2. In Season 2, he, it seems like he's like ready to he's do like, something. Yeah. And he could. He could. He Dude, easily that one could. scene where there's like a. It doesn't happen. He, it's in his mind. Oh yeah, there's like, like a riot going he on. He almost like just fucking, and he fucking laser beams like yeah. everybody. I was like, yeah, but I then would, it was just like in his head. Oh man, I'm I'm expecting crazy shit to go down. Yeah, there's so, a lot of crazy shit that happens in the comics. I hope yeah. that they oh they God, tap into yeah. that dude. But uh, they actually yeah. just released that June third. That's today they announced June third. Nice. So the boys coming yep. out. And I'm then, excited uh, for that. That's all I got for TV shows in June. Okay, I want to jump to July. So. Oh, no, we're still on June. We got a couple movies left. Oh, there's more? Yeah, yeah. So these are just little ones we can react to. We got June 17th, Lightyear is coming out. (laughs) It's it's an animated Buzz Lightyear movie. I I really don't know the plot because he's just a toy. It's not a a toy. It's apparently in the Toy Story universe. There was an astronaut named Lightyear that the toy is based after. Okay. It'd be like if we had a toy called like Buzz Aldrin. Is that his name? Yeah. It'd be like if we had that. Oh, like an Aldrin toy. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And the so it's the real life man. Oh. Not and it's not the same voice. It's he's not a toy. It's a real guy going into space. Okay. And he's this is I guess a prequel to Toy Story because the toy isn't made yet because he's yeah. not a famous astronaut yet. Okay. And his name is oh, who's who's the it's Buzz Lightyear. Buzz. What, <laughs> what, <laughs> the actor playing him. What's I'm drawing a blank. Let me look it up. So, I, no, I got it's you. The guy that's Captain America. Captain America. Steve. Uh, not Steve Rogers. <laughs> Jesus, Chris Evans. There's so many Chris's. I was like Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, Chris Pine. Which fucking one? I know. Chris Evans. <laughs> they gotta stop. He is Buzz Lightyear. Okay. Ooh, Takai Waititi's also gonna be in this film. Interesting. I didn't know that. Well, um, there's a trailer for it, Nick. If you want to watch it, be my yeah. guest. I, 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 I don't know. I think I'll watch it if it comes on Disney Plus. I like a lot of the stuff. You know, I think that I'll, Pixar I'll wait makes. for Disney Plus. I'll wait for yeah. Disney Plus. That's a good call. So next we have. The Black Phone. Now, tell it's, me about uh, this, Nick. This is the coming first out one June I don't 24th. know what it is. So this is a horror movie. Um, oh, wait. Is this the Ethan Hawke one? Yeah. Okay. I do, I do. So Ethan Hawke is pretty much a killer <laughs> that locks this kid in the basement. And he's like, don't leave. I'm going to fucking kill you. Jesus. But this kid is locked in the basement and he finds this phone on the wall. It's completely unplugged, by the way. And he's able to talk to uh, Ethan Hawke's past victims. Ooh. And so it's pretty much uh, a thriller uh I guess murder it's like movie a horror murder. Yeah. He's like, all right, like help me get out of the house. And yeah, the black phone. I, I just it, thought it was he's inter- the guy wearing the big mask. And yeah. The smile. Okay. Yeah. yeah that yeah. looks creepy. I actually, I, I like love Ethan. Hawk. I love Ethan. Hawk. Yeah. I'm excited to see this. I love. And, and the fact that he's playing the killer and not like yeah, the good guy. Right? Oh, man. So yeah, I'm excited for that. So, June 24th. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Coming out the same day. We got Elvis. I do not know anything about this. I'm pretty, I know a little bit about this. I'm sure it's a biopic for sure. I'm going to look up uh, really quick I the information. I think the guy playing him is Austin... Mahone? No, I'm it's not. Kidding. It's Austin Butcher? Let me see. You look it up, Nick. Austin Butler. Austin Butler. He is the guy that played Tex in... If you're watching on YouTube, on this poster here, uh, he played Tex, one of the Manson killers... In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that's a he, good movie. He's the guy that ha- the only guy that attacks. Um, yeah, at the end, and it's he has fucked the, up. Yeah, and he's like, "I'm the devil, and I've come to do the devil's work." <laughs> that guy, and then he gets fucking punched. Yeah, in the then face. he dies, and he gets the, <laughs> the, the d- pit bull grabs his nuts. Yeah, then it gets his <laughs> testicles removed. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a good movie, that's man. It. I should uh, watch that again. That's a good, it's a great good movie. movie. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's playing <laughs> Elvis, which. He looked kind of skinny. I mean, I, I know Elvis was skinnier as a kid, and he kind of put on weight when he's in the seventies, because well, he got, you know, yeah, he got that money. When you got that money, you get that weight. Yeah. But I, I this guy, I don't know. I wonder how it'll be, because he doesn't. 
I want to see how he looks as Elvis before I judge. Mm-hmm. But just off look, he looks too skinny to be Elvis to me. Okay. Because Elvis, even when he was younger and skinnier, he didn't look that skinny. But yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll he was like see. beefy. I won't judge until I see. Yeah. But there we go. Um, July? Are we in July now? So, yes. Moving into July. <laughs> July 1st, we got Minions. The Rise of Gru. <laughs> the Rise. I'm sorry, I can't say. <laughs> I the can't Rise say. of Gru. Now, this is the movie Gru. we've been waiting for for years. This is why yeah. we started the podcast. Yeah, this is pretty much the whole inception <laughs> of the podcast. This is the end game. Yeah, pretty much. Once this we is, get this done, we're done. Yeah, we got to review it now. <laughs> <laughs> After all this talk. I don't know how many Minions movies they have. I I think there's three Despicable Me movies. There's two Minion movies right now. And then Jeez. I think this is another one. And it's a prequel when... Grew's a kid, pretty much. Jesus, uh, man. I mean, I guess I'll Jesus, I guess man. I'll see, <laughs> I guess I'll see it. I don't. I don't care to. But I mean, dude, the Minions movies are literally like fucking for children, bro. You know, I'm. I know. It's so stupid. But I'm not gonna lie, dude. The original Despicable Me movies are good. Yeah, they're good. Especially the first one is actually a great family movie. Yeah. Like, put Minions aside. Good, great movie. Honestly, the second one's just as good. The third one, I don't. That's what if he gets his twin brother. I've seen oh, that yeah. once. I don't know if that one's like the, the the shittiest one of them all. The shittiest. But I know for sure the first one's amazing and the second one's good. But yeah, uh, that's enough talk. We'll yeah, talk enough to, talk on the minions. Who the, why the fuck? We don't want to give them too much screen time. Man. So <laughs> next week uh, oh, in July, yeah. we got July eighth. Thor: Love and Thunder I'm is so releasing. I'm so excited for this. I'm excited for this too. We've been talking about this movie too. This is the fourth Thor movie. I don't think any MCU hero has gotten the fourth. This will be the first uh, one, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Natalie Portman's coming back as uh, Jane Foster. Now that was a big surprise. Cause that was seemed, a big surprise. She too. seemed to be like, yeah, I'm absent. Done. Yeah. yeah. Didn't even seem like she was in Endgame. I know. Literally a back shot. But yeah, I think that actually was her though. Oh, what? No, yeah, I thought it was a. Dude, how much do you think she got paid? No, she got paid. She literally did. I think it. She didn't show up to film though. I think they just used a an old shot that an unused shot from Dark World. Yeah. But she, I mean, she's in the credits. Okay. She got paid for it. Nice. Get that bag. Get, get that bag. I'm really excited. It, this since this comes out in July, I thought it was coming out later in the year. But since yeah, it's July, I thought it was coming out October. I did too. So since it's July. That means we actually will probably be expecting a trailer here in the next coming months. Yeah, because they always do it at like a couple months out. You do it usually three or at four. Yeah, so we'll be getting one soon. Nice. I'm, I'm excited, excited for that. that. This summer is looking to be like oh, dope yeah. as hell. And I think um, the last we saw Thor, he was at the Guardians. Yeah, he so pretty we're much probably left. Probably going to see some of the Guardians. I'd imagine. I don't think they'll be in the whole movie. Yeah, maybe they'll just. I think drop them off at school. It'll start. <laughs> I, you know, I think we might see a uh, a workout montage between. <laughs> dude, I fucking hope both so. Both the Chris's because in the last movie they were saying that Star Lord's getting fat. And, yeah. And Thor actually did get fat. So I'm thinking we're going to see like a workout montage where they're both like like lifting. He's they're like both trying to ship. like yeah, they're trying to outdo each other. That would be funny. I bet you, I, I'm calling it. We're getting something like that, and then I think they're gonna kind of Thor is gonna go do his own thing, and then the Guardians are gonna go do whatever they do in Volume Three. Yeah, Gosh. but yeah, I'm really hyped for that. Okay, so next in July, July 15th, we got Bullet Train coming out. Let me talk about this movie. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. Well, I've um, said that for two now, but we're gonna see yeah. if I know what so it is. So it's David Leach's upcoming thriller, um, and it features a stacked cast. Oh, is this? Of, the, no, I'm just kidding. No. I don't know this one. I don't know <laughs> it's got this one. Brad Pitt, Joey King. Uh, Andrew Koji, Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, Zazie Beetz is in it. Uh, Bad Bunny, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. okay. Uh, Sandra Bullock <laughs> is also in it, and then Karen Fukuhara. Bad Bunny, <laughs> uh, But back to the movie. What the hell is he doing in this? He was he was actually in Narcos Mexico, so you know he actually has really? some acting under his belt. Okay. But th- there's not much about this movie. I just thought the casting sounded interested, and this is the second thing that Brad Pitt is going to be in this year, and I really like Brad oh, Pitt. Was the other one Babylon? Uh, yes. We'll talk about we'll, that We'll talk later. about that. Yeah. Um, but the title, uh, as it implies, the movie is pretty much set on a Japanese bullet train, and all it says is five, sa- five assassins discover that their missions are all connected. So I thought that was just interesting. Sounds interesting. Yeah, the casting sounds pretty cool. I'll, I'll, I'll probably look into that. Yeah. Um, 
So moving more into July, we got a lot of movies. Jesus, uh, July is stacked. Yeah, July is stacked as hell. July 22nd, we got Nope coming out. Now, what's this? I don't recognize this. On this the title. is uh, Jordan Peele's third movie uh, ah, after Get Out and Us. Interesting. He's returning for a, a summer mystery movie called Nope. And there's no plot announced, um, but so the we film. Know nothing on this. Yeah, we don't know anything. All we know is Daniel Kaluuya is coming back from Get Out. Okay. Kiki Palmer is going to be in it. Okay. And then Stephen Yun from uh, The yeah. Walking Dead, Invincible, mm-hmm. uh, Minari. He's he's just on a run with like he is going. This on. motherfucker don't miss. <laughs> In the heat of battle, he don't miss. He don't miss. In the heat of controversy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought it sounded really cool. It says all we have is a poster, and is pretty much what it cloud? is. Yeah, it's the one with the cloud and like these little, uh, I guess like fiesta. Like it, it's really we don't know anything. Looks like we're getting a movie on rain clouds. Yeah, rain clouds. But I like Weather. Jordan Peele. I thought Get Out is still his best one. Uh, I, us. I've still yet to see the the uh, not the sequel, but his second movie. Oh, Us. I haven't seen. Dude, us you yet. should see it. It's. I think it's. Pro- I could probably stream it. Yeah. By now, so it's good. I like Get Out a lot better, but um, yeah. I'm excited for it. I like Jordan Peele now, and uh, his take on here, horror. I think you. This is your movie. What is it? July 29th. July 29th. Oh, <laughs> the hierarchy <laughs> of the movie universe is about to change everybody. We got Black Adam. It's about draft. Finally. <laughs> it's about. Dude, I can't help but think about the. the dude, I, they're gonna, they better have that as the end credit song. <laughs> just like the credit start. It's just like, we go home. I don't even know what they say. We go home. We go home. Da, 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 da. We go jerk. <laughs> no. I don't know what the actual lyrics are. Oh, the real song? It's the real it's song. It's like, we go rumble. We go rumble. We go rumble. No, Ooh. guys. Okay. It's about drive. It's about power. Yeah, The Rock better. He we better devour. sing that. There, there better be a montage That's of Black be, Adam yeah. working out. <laughs> but no, we got, we got the Black Adam movie finally, fucking dropping after years, after fandom, after fandom of this dude hyping <laughs> up this role. He's been talking shit for years. I know. Say he's gonna fuck up this, Superman. This movie better blow me the fuck out of the water. <laughs> we, this is gonna be one that we are for sure going to see. I think all the DC movies that are coming out this year, I think Aquaman's coming out later. We're going to see that in theaters mm-hmm. and review it. But I'm excited. Yeah, Black Adam's finally coming out. I'm interested to see if uh, if any of the other DC heroes are going to be in it. Because it would feel a little weird. I don't want it to be like an Eternals movie. where it's well, like this is the one we know Pierce Bronson's in it. And he's going to be Dr. Fate, remember? Oh, that's this right. This is this one, yeah. That, uh, that already had me intrigued. So that's very I forgot about that. I'm excited to see this. Yeah, Pierce Bronson... I feel like we Top get tier. some kind of Shazam or Superman tease. Yeah, yeah. I want I want Superman to like to, I don't know. The Rock says he wants to fight Superman at yeah. one point. I want like The Rock and Shazam to team up against like <laughs> Superman. That shit would be hard as hell, bro. <laughs> but I don't want it to feel like super isolated from the DC universe just because it's coming out like super late and I don't want it to feel like an afterthought, you know, kind of how yeah. Eternals like felt super detached from the MCU. I want this to feel like it's right in the heart of like the DC universe. And I want I want The Rock to live up to his words, bro. Hey, he better. Been, I've been saying this, that for this years. This dude's ego is insane. It is. You know, if this movie flops, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> I'm going to laugh hard as hell. All right. Um, before, I think the next one we go into September. Yeah, then we're going into Is September. there nothing in August, really? August. That's surprising. Yeah, I don't... They're, I mean, I can do a quick search right now, but when I was looking, there wasn't really anything in August. Okay, well, you can look while you're saying that. The one yeah. thing for TV shows that I had, okay, uh, we don't have a release date for this, but we know it's summer to be announced. Um, Stranger Things Season 4 Ooh. is coming out, which it feels like it's been like three years, four yeah, years. Yeah, the last one we got was one. 2019. That's insane, man. Dude, these kids have got to be in their early 20s. Dude, they're going to fucking jump from them being like 16 to them like... Will. <laughs> Where are you? What? What? what has it even? I don't even remember how season three was. If I'm being honest, did you see it? I did. I know I've watched. Season them all. three ended pretty much with uh, eleven. Okay. Leaving with the uh, the Byers family, and they moved to California. What? And then Mike, and uh, the rest of them, I think they stayed in their town, and then Hopper died. But then they released but a he's teaser. In Russia. Yeah, he's in a Russian. He pretty much got teleported. That, that must fucking suck, bro. <laughs> like, to be in a concentration camp in Russia. But Hopper's still alive. That's all we really know. They actually released uh, two little teasers for it. I don't know if you've seen uh, it. I saw those. Yeah, it's kind of giving me Scooby-Doo vibes. Like, <laughs> I'm excited for this season. Um, Stranger Things has always been good. And it's good to, to have a summer again where we got Stranger Things. Yeah, Especially that's... after delays. They probably... <sighs> 
It's a long time coming, bro. It is. It's been a long time. Is there anything in August or are we just going to jump straight to September? August. Let me see. Come on, Nick. Uh, I mean, if there's nothing, we good. We got There's an untitled Disney live action film coming out in August. There's a secret headquarters movie. I don't know what that is. It has Michael Pena, Owen Wilson. Uh, A kid discovers the secret headquarters of a most powerful superhero. uh, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> These look like we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Yeah, me neither. Um, I don't really care. September 30th, Nick. Mission Impossible 7. Let's there's, go. There's seven of these things. I'm going to tell you right now, Nick. I The Mission Impossible movies. Can you tell me right now? You've seen some of them, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Tom Cruise. Yes. What's his character's name? Ethan Hunt. Oh fuck! You actually got it. Yeah, Ethan Hunt. Okay, yeah, how I, could you I know it? it as well. But I think it's funny how if you ask most people, even if they've seen them and yeah. they're fans of them, they're like, "Show what the fuck is it?" <laughs> like, because it's really just such a simple name. Yeah, I know. I think I kind of just remembered it because we were talking about Ethan Hawke, and I was like, "You know what? Yeah, <laughs> that is on the tip of my tongue." Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm excited for Mission Impossible. The um, last one was actually really good. Yeah, it was fucking insane. Henry, like actually, like Henry no, Cavill was in it. That one might be my favorite one. Yeah, I felt like honest. the stakes were high. It was really cool what they did for that movie. I I made a a YouTube video where I was like getting the ticket stub for it and shit, and they had this little like VR like interactive ticket thing you could interact with, and like you'd it open it up, tickets, huh? And you would like scan it, and it would show like a like a VR helicopter like from this oh, from the movie. I thought that was really cool, but. It'd be cool if they do something like that. But that's cool. It's just called Mission Impossible 7. Usually it's called like Mission Impossible, like colon, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's all we got for September. And that's coming out late September. Yeah, late September. Jump to the beginning of September. We kind of skipped over this real quick. September okay. 2nd is the Lord of the Rings TV show on Ooh. Amazon Prime, what? which we don't know much about it yet. I think we've only seen maybe one look at it, which is maybe either concept art or just a who knows okay. but there's no trailer yet i think there might be casting news but i don't care i'm just gonna say apparently this is costing a lot of money like they're putting millions and millions of dollars into each episode jesus so this is it's looking like it this has potential to be good it's a show you said right it's a show what is on it amazon about? prime so this is either gonna be a big hit or this thing gonna flop like crazy okay but I mean, I'm excited nonetheless. If it's, it seems like it's get, gaining some hype because of mm-hmm. all the money being. It's on the Amazon Prime. Yeah. Okay, I think Marco would be hyped for that. Uh, so jumping into October. So October seventh. Uh, I actually saw the the trailer for this recently. We get Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, uh, and they are yeah. already announcing it's a part one. Yeah, this is already called part one. Yeah. So I wish they kind of hid that, but. Yeah, they could have waited till like the end of the trailer or the yeah. end of the movie, like it says part one in the in the credits or something. But this is the second, uh, I guess, the sequel to the Spider Man into the Spider Verse, a fucking very fine piece of Spider Man movie. Uh, Man, I love the have. animation. That's yeah, the, I I can understand, and I'll give them slack on why it takes so long for them to to make this movie because the animation and the work that they put behind it, like. It's insane. It's like watching a live comic book movie. It really is. It's yeah, really it's cool. Great. Like literally, I, I was watching it yesterday actually, and like literally every detail. Like if if a, a character is like tapping a book or like their phone rings, like you'll see little squiggly lines. Like how God, in the man, comic this, books. I heard actually each frame was hand drawn. Yeah, I did which too. Which is insane. Yeah. Like that's insane. Yeah. Like if this movie is like made at twenty four frames per second, and it's like I think a, an hour fifty nine minutes. That's a lo- that's a fucking lot of drawing, dude. What's insane is I. What's cool, I, I I think I heard that. What's very cool attention to detail is when Miles is first swinging mm-hmm. by himself, um, for the first time they animate him and I think like sixteen frames per second. Yeah. So they cut it in half, and then when he him and Peter like they like grab onto each other and they're swinging together, and he starts learning. Then they animate him at twenty four. Yeah. So he then he. It's a very cool animation trick where it's like, oh, he looks like out of place and like out of line and out of yeah. sync. And then he gets in sync later on and they draw him with the right frames, which is really, that's really cool. Really cool. Man, I, that's a great movie, man. Yeah. I got to rewatch it. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Next in October, October 14th, we got Halloween Ends. It's about damn time this shit's Dude, ended. I know. Tell you what. How fucking long does it take to we end? We still haven't seen the sequel. In 80s. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Halloween Kills, we haven't seen I it. I don't care, man. We, I, we don't care. <laughs> you know, I actually heard 
a lot of people say it sucks, and they said that it's literally like a giant filler for the third one. Really? I so I dude, that would be so. I annoying. don't know specific spoilers, but what I've heard plot wise is all that happens. So you know the first one that we're gonna spoil right now. So yeah, go ahead. It, I mean, yeah. Michael Myers is still alive. Yeah. So we, we at know the end that. of the last one, they like trapped him in a house on fire. And then in this one, they save him immediately, and apparently he just shits on the firefighters real quick, kills them, <laughs> and then he just goes and he just starts killing again. <laughs> nice. And I think that's pretty much. I mean, that's all of them. <laughs> that's like well, the plot of all of them. I heard the second one was like a soft reboot because now it's just the original Halloween, Halloween Kills, and then Halloween Ends. Oh yeah. So they, now it's kind the, of a, tr- a trilogy, and uh, well, technically it's a quadrilogy because the very first one from '77 is. The first one. Yes. And then the sequel is Halloween 2018. Okay. So that's like a sequel. It's as if all those movies in between didn't happen. Just yeah. imagine if they the retconned it. Yeah, they retconned They're it. Like, so all those like 12 other movies are gone. Jesus. And it's as if that oh, that one night happened, then he's been in jail ever since. Jesus. And then all these years later, the dude gets out and he's still bloodthirsty. Damn. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably see kills. Have they never eventually. thought about like cutting his head off? That's a good question. Like, is that... I mean, I've never, like, tried to fight a killer, but is it really that hard, bro? It seems like he moves at, like, five like <laughs> One five thing steps a minute. They tried canceling Michael Myers, actually. I Dude, what this. the fuck? <laughs> I on. wish we saw I'm it. I'm going to so Google could, search this so right we now. Could talk. No, they wanted to cancel him because apparently he killed somebody who's gay. What? Like, they, he killed a gay character hey, bro. or something. The Look gay it character up. was weak. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Look it up. Michael Mac- Michael Myers canceled. Oh shit! Oh, like, they're actually you found it. There's tweets. Yeah, people are like, cancel Halloween this is man. canceled. Yeah, cancel it. They about to pull up on Michael Myers. They about to pull up an old homophobic tweets. And cancel <laughs> well, they, they act, what actually happened? I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. But from what I've heard, is it's a lot. Of, whoever said this were, were people overreacting, and it was like the, they just had a, characters that happened to be gay. So the fact that people are honestly pointing it out and be like, damn, he's killing cuz they get this dude killing everybody, bro. Yeah. This dude do not you care. You guys wanted the quality. You're dying in the horror movie. He what, doesn't care. He's what killing more do you anybody. Want? I don't I don't think they cared at all. But that being said, it is kind of I don't want to That's say like funny. gaslighting. It kinda is. You it's know? just like you killed him because he's gay? It's like yes. <laughs> No, I, I killed him because I'm a killer. Killed him because he's gay. I killed him because <laughs> I I've been doing it the past eight movies. <laughs> About <laughs> Jesus. Dude, they, that they, was his last words. <laughs> You're just killing me because I'm gay, man. <laughs> dude, like, dude, they gotta if they still made scary movies, you know they would make. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> they'd make a scene about. Dude, that. we need another scary movie oh, right man. now. We need another one. Oh, that's funny. So Halloween ends October 14th. You know what? Maybe we can watch uh like for the month of uh. So let's see, it's October 14th. If we watch Halloween the original and then uh-huh. Halloween Kills, pr- probably both on streaming. Yeah, we yeah. can watch Halloween ends and release them for October. We could. We that, could wait till then to see it. I don't yeah, mind. I, mean, I, I don't want to see it anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, that's I it for October. I don't have for October. No games? Actually, no, I'll save that for the two to, to be announced. Okay. So moving into November, we got the Flash movie. About no, November 4th. November 4th. And that we the just Flash got movie. some word from Ben Affleck that this is his best acting as Batman. But he's also out. He's like, that yeah, my last one. is very bittersweet to hear, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah. Like literally the best version of his Batman we've that we're gonna see, and he's like, yeah, and that's the last. I'm really thing. excited to see how much of a role he really plays in this because we know this seems like it's gonna be Michael Keaton Burton Batman heavy, but we know Affleck is in it as well, so I want to see how they interact. Yeah, how are they gonna balance that? Yeah, and, it, and we already saw from the trailer it's gonna be multiple. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like there's this, two this, flashes. Yeah, it's gonna least. be like a multiverse. Here's a little photo. It's like a and an we older got one. Supergirls in it too. Really. Yeah, that's Supergirl right there. It's the, a different version. It's not the blonde oh. version. This is... Uh, From the CW? <laughs> yeah, it's not her. Okay. Well, the the main Supergirl is Superman's cousin from Krypton. Interesting. Um, but she isn't in these movies yet. This is a different version. I forget the name. Well, we could talk about that in another episode when Flash drops its next trailer. Okay. But yeah, that's coming out in November. Nice. Same day, November 4th, Nick. What is this movie? I don't recognize it. Oh, Canterbury Glass. Yeah, what's that? So, Canterbury Glass, uh, this is a movie that's going to have Christian Bale in it. And he's reuniting with uh, the director, David O. Russell, who did The Big Short. Ah. Or, I'm sorry, American oh. Hustle and ah. The Fighter, Ooh. if you've seen those. Okay. And it's a 20th Century Studios feature, and it's got a lot of uh, a lot of hype. 
And because of the stacked cast, it's got Margot Robbie. It's Margot got, Robbie's in this. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're already immediately like, yo. I knew she was in Babylon, but I didn't know she was in this. Yeah, me neither. Uh, John David Washington. Rami okay, Malik. Rami Malik. Rami Malik. Okay. Zoe Saldana. Robert De Niro. Mike Myers. Chris I'm, Rock. I know all these guys. Anya Taylor Joy. Taylor Swift. What the what fuck? The fuck? Yeah, that's kind of weird, but, uh, and then behind the camera, the film lens, uh, has the master cinematographer, you, Emmanuel Lubezinski. Um, and yeah, we don't really know a lot about it, but the stuff, the, the cast sounds cool, right? The cast is in the name always kind of just draw you in. And, and I think David O. Russell's a good director. So this actually, uh, yeah, it's on my list now. It, it caught my eye because of Christian Bale. Like I just saw the photo. You're like, but, who that? What's yeah. Doing? Patrick. Bateman. It's coming out November 4th. Nice. That, you know, I, that's actually interesting. I'm hyped for that now. Yeah. All right. Then we got Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Black Panther 2. I don't know what the name November officially 11th. is. It's The official name is Wakanda Forever. Okay, that, I'm fine with that. It's coming out November 11th. Um, This movie, so I just saw Black Panther recently. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're going to do for the second one because we were talking about Latita. We, we, we talked about her earlier, how she was like yeah, maybe canceled. We don't know yet. Yeah, if she can't even like get vaccinated to do productions on other films like how do you think it's going to be on a marvel movie well we'll see what she does maybe she comes to her senses maybe but if she doesn't i want to say also if she doesn't want to get vaccinated like i guess that's her choice you can be as long as she's not one of those people spreading lies saying like the vaccine is like they're tracking you and like crazy shit like that yeah that's kind of but like if you don't want to get it like at the end of the day like it's the same thing as like a flu vaccine like it's like if you don't want to get it that's on you becoming yeah, it's on you. Like, just don't get it. But don't be, like, like ignorant shaming people. And don't be ignorant about it. Like, it goes both ways, I think. I'm not going to shame people that aren't getting it. But I'm also yeah. going to be more like, okay, maybe I should be chill around them. Like, I don't know what they're carrying. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds kind of fucked. But, like, that's just how the world we live in right now, I feel like. Yeah. But whatever. Um, This movie, I feel like... I want to be excited about it, but I know... It's Obviously, Chadwick Boseman passed away, which is so unfortunate. Yeah, because he played an excellent Black Panther, and we only got him in really like <laughs> he got three only got or one four movie, and then he was in Avengers movies. Yeah, but. I don't know, because it's it, obviously I think they're going to tie in the fact that Black Panther passed away. And well, they have to do something. Yeah, they're going to do a remembrance for Chadwick, and they're going to be passing on the mantle as Black Panther, but. Kind of what I wanted them to do was either find a way to bring back Killmonger and make him uh, the Black Panther. Okay. Or they could have a, a Kuye or uh. a Lup- Lupita's character from Black Panther. A- any of those two. And okay. I think it'd be cool and, and kind of empowering to have a woman be the Black Panther. And I'd be completely fine with both of them. Cause we've well, they've, seen had, them, they've had, um, they've they've had screen Panther time. In yeah. The past as well in yeah. And I feel like that's a thing in the comics. It definitely is. So um, I think that'd be cool. Um, I think that'd be great to see. I, you know, I want to be hype as well, like you said, but I personally think I understand it's very sad and tragic what happened, yes. but at the same time, I feel like, and this is backed up by, I believe Chadwick's brother who recently said something on, on the situation. He said that he believes that Chadwick Boseman would have wanted the role to be recast. Um, I think that's, I agree with that. If I'm being honest, I back then I didn't want to say that because it was still fresh that he had died. You yeah. know, no one was even thinking about that. They don't, no one that's that's secondary when it comes to your life. Idris Elba. Um, ooh. no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> isn't too much. But I do think they should recast it if they're not gonna do. It, it just sucks because it feels like we haven't seen much of Black Panther. I know there was still so much of his world to be and explored, and it seemed like he was gonna have a very big role in leading like the next Avengers, yeah, and stuff like that. As soon as they introduce more characters like Fantastic Four, maybe do like the Illuminati. The Marvel's Illuminati is like the smartest people, and Black Panther's a member, so is really? Reed Richards. Interesting. Um, it's they could have done so many interesting things. That's cool. Um, but it it sucks to just see that they don't do that because. I understand they want to be respectful to Chadwick. He played the role great. But I think maybe I think they should think about recasting just because it'll be a tough role to fill. It'll be a tough person to follow up. Obviously, yeah. But I think it'll be better for the character and for the movies and the story. And I think everyone would understand. 
you know? Yeah. If they don't want to do it. Like, you're not going to go into the movies and be like, hey, who the fuck is that? Yeah, like, you're going to understand the situation. Exactly. And you're gonna and, be like, okay. Yeah, and I think I think it's doable. And I think with the with the way they should what they should do is if they recast, they shouldn't try and have the guy act just like him. Like he can act like Black Panther and he can slightly change up his the mannerisms. And the and, mannerisms. You know, yeah. make him your own character. Don't try and copy what Chadwick did, because then it'd be probably be too like oh the, disrespectful to a legacy yeah it, it'd be it'd be different but you could do your own thing and it's still the same character yeah i think they should do that if not i would like what you did maybe okoye maybe uh his Mbaku, sister. maybe he was he was part of the That's jabari true. tribe you know i i think it is confirmed that michael b jordan has some kind of role in this in this one coming i'd up. be fine if michael b jordan being think, black panther well i think because he is wakandan yeah so i think he, and he literally is like an heir to the throne Technically, so I think, but he died. Yeah. So that, I think I think we'll see him in that cool little afterlife thing. You know that shot where Chadwick goes and talks to his dad. Yeah. I think we'll see something like that with Michael B. Jordan's character Killmonger, but maybe he's like, he's trapped in that like room area, like his dad was, where he the windows outside you could see that they were in that realm, but they're yeah. not out there with the other Panthers. They're kind of like kept from it. Yeah. Do you think we'll see like a scene of Chadwick like? In the uh, the afterlife thing, because oh. I know that he kept like his battle with colon cancer like kind of private. But I wonder if he disclosed that with like I don't know Kevin Feige or the producers. Apparently they like, didn't know from what I heard. Yeah, so probably not then. Or th- I'm well, sure they I have think, other cut scenes, but I think what they'll do, they shouldn't CGI him. No. That'll be disrespectful. Yeah, but I think what they'll do is they'll they honestly they could show. Because when he has the suit on, you don't see his face. Yeah. So they could show the Black Panther and be like, this is Black Panther. We know Chadwick's in it, even though he's not really. And they could have him maybe die in battle or some something happens. And then they could do an afterlife thing. And they don't even have to have him turn into his physical form. They could the just panther. see a panther. That'd be cool. And like the panther, like, walk, I don't know, walks away. Or it just goes and joins... With, it, it like hugs another panther or something, and it's his dad or something. Yeah, was good. They could do, yeah, <laughs> it daps him up. It daps um, him. <laughs> but yeah. I'm 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 slightly excited for it. I just don't know what to expect. Yeah, and that's kind of got me a little worried because like yeah. I feel like we know what Marvel movies are usually going in, and this is the most like ambiguous one. This is November 11th, right? Yeah. So that same day that this movie drops, we're back on a video game. This is the only other game I got a release date for, Nick. Okay. Have you heard of Starfield? No. So, I hadn't either, but this might get you a little interested. Have you played Skyrim? Yes. Have you played Fallout? Yeah. They're both made by Bethesda. Yeah, they're both both great games. Both RPGs. One of them is medieval. One of them is like Mm post-apocalyptic. This one is like, like you're in the galaxy, like a Star Wars type thing. And it's made by Bethesda and it's an RPG where you're like a... A space cowboy type thing. Hell yeah. Thing. So that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm a, I, we haven't. We don't know much. I don't think we've seen even gameplay. Is it Xbox exclusive now? It is. Because okay. Bethesda has been bought. I mean, I got my Xbox. <laughs> you got your shitbox still? Got the shitbox. Yeah. Actually, I think this one might be next gen only though. Damn. Yeah, hey, yeah. Well, maybe by next year or later this year. I'll yeah, have we got literally like 11 months from now yeah. to get an Xbox <laughs> to play this. It doesn't seem that hard. Yeah, I... I, I don't I'm not in a rush. I will get one if it looks good. But I, I love Bethesda games. I've been playing Skyrim recently. And I yeah. like I like Galaxy Star Wars type games. Yeah, I love and, Bethesda. And RPG in that setting sounds very fun. Yeah, because you like in Skyrim and in Fallout, you can literally just spend hours exploring oh, yeah, man. This, side quests. Imagine going to different planets and stuff Dude, in this. That'd be fucking that's, cool. That's they have this has a lot of potential. Hell. So that's yeah. November eleventh. Uh are we jump into December right away. There's yeah. No, there, yeah nice. So we got a couple more movies to wrap up December. Let's go. December sixteenth, we got Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. This is pretty much Aquaman two. I'm yep. pretty excited for this. I thought the first Aquaman was pretty good. Um, it's just a lot of visuals and shit. I think it's a movie <laughs> you definitely have to see. Well, bro, the last battle was like. I I think it's very good. Fuck. And then I think the last battle, it's like holy fucking yeah. shit. Like they just. There's just flying crabs. Like if I was drunk or like on something and like watch that shit, I would just be like, "Imagine if you." I would be fucked imagine up. Imagine if you watch. <laughs> what the um, fuck is that? Imagine if you took something and then you yeah, like watch an edible. Like you like, take it at the beginning of the movie and then you fall asleep 
and then you wake up. Yeah, like someone just scene, like wake up. It's God from they're like at a lighthouse at a bar. They're just chilling on land, yeah. and then you're like, what the? Fuck? Yeah, you're like the bottom of the ocean. There's like crabs. There's and like crab people, fish people. There's all these flying. There's whales. Going, there's crazy monsters. Yeah, Aquaman pulls up flying on a fucking kraken or something. Yeah. <laughs> It's, Jesus. it's crazy. It's it's crazy it what they did with that much. movie. It almost is too much. <laughs> so I will say, James Wan, <laughs> tone it down for the second one. Yeah, I'm, I'm I want a more Patrick grounded. Is still in this. I want a more grounded uh, story with Arthur. They're bringing back Black Manta. I think he's gonna be more of the main villain in this one, which I'm I, I excited hope. for. He got he got kind of fucked up in the first one. <laughs> yeah. They uh, so I mean, he was kind of beating the shit out of Arthur, but then he got thrown off like threw his a, ass off that cliff, a cliff in like Italy. They really showed like each hit. Yeah, to, like, I know. He, <laughs> it looked like SpongeBob. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then like an explosion <laughs> when he hit the ground. Well, he met Jimmy Woo at the end. Remember? Yeah. And he's just oh, like, yeah. he's like, "Could you make more Atlanta?" Jimmy Wall? Woo. And he's just like, "Yeah." You're too hard, Golden State. No. <laughs> no, I'm excited for that movie, though. I, I love Aquaman. I thought the first one was really good. And um, I think James Wan has incredible direction. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm excited, excited for that. And that same day. What the fuck, bro? Are you. Are you Avatar hurt? 2 <laughs> is finally coming out. When did the first one come out? 2008? 2012. Okay. 12. But still. Really? 12? 2000. Wow. Yeah. I swear, 2012. That's like a decade ago. Yeah. That's fucking crazy to think. But, It'll uh, literally be a decade when this comes out. Yeah. That's fucking insane. Who who asked for this? I don't know. I thought the first one was fine. It does not need a second one. But, uh, yeah, Avatar 2 is coming out. James Cameron is still directing it. it has a budget you, of $250 million. And I actually have the plot line here if you want me to read it real There's quick. There's a plot for this? Yeah. So okay, it says, what's the plot? Try try to remember everybody what Avatar One was about. It's been ten years. Uh, there's a space marines. They they go to the planet and one of them they want to inhabit it. Yeah, and they they have or some they want to study technology where they they captured one and killed it or something. And it's just the, the body. blue people, the blue people, and uh, then yeah. they transferred someone's consciousness the Navi, into it. That's what the it Navi, is. The Navi. Yeah, then they uploaded their their, their consciousness, consciousness yeah. and then they they're living amongst them. I think the only difference is their hands. Like you yeah, can their tell, hands had three fingers. And I think the humans, for some reason, he has five, like to tell that it's him. Yeah. Which doesn't really make sense if he's transferring into a body. Why would that happen? But whatever. Um, <laughs> and yeah. then he meets another one. And they have hair sex. Yeah, the and hair then, sex. <laughs> and then he literally betrays all of humankind for some pussy. Pretty much. This dude is the biggest simp. <laughs> literally went to another planet. And he met this girl and was like, you know what? I'll I will fight for you. And then he <laughs> betrays. Is, isn't this kind of the same plot line as like the fake? Because it's not what happened in real life. The fake story of uh, Pocahontas. Similar. Yeah, kind of like a an outsider gets into a tribe. I mean, it's falls like in love. Yeah, it's kind of like that, right? It sounds similar. Well, we got the plot line right here. Okay. So, Jake Sully and Natiri have formed a family, and they're doing everything to stay together. Nice. However, they must leave their home and explore the regions of Pandora. When an ancient threat surfaces, Jake must fight a difficult war against the humans. Okay, so it just, it sounds like he has a family, and it's the rehash of the, I don't know. I honestly... Dude, they're supposed to make four of these, or yeah, five of these. I honestly do not give a shit. Look, I, I don't want to hate on Avatar, because I guess... Like, I, it was a technical marvel for yeah. when it came out, and the CGI looks insane for that year. Yes. Um... But if we're being honest, plot-wise, I don't know how the hell this movie is the number one movie. We're done. I know Endgame passed it up, but then I guess it got passed up again, and then Endgame passed it up, and then Avatar passed it up again. How did it pass it up? They re- they re-released it for like its anniversary oh, or something. Dude, who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit? So since you do, they they, they literally, ah, oh, it's so dumb. So we got passed up. Oh, I'm sorry. It came out in 2009. So it's I been, fucking knew it. It's been more than 10 I years. I knew it was older, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, so that yeah, means 2012 sounded too... I was going to say, like, really? I thought it was, like, before 10. Yeah. But, damn. Um, I don't know. The I, I have no hype for this. Yeah, me neither. Maybe, look, if they would have announced we're making a sequel to it, that's it. I might have been like, okay, I'm, let's see what it's like. Let's yeah. see what they got. But they said we're making not two, not three, not four. We're making five of these. Jesus. And they announced all of them and got dates for all of them. For the next... Starting now... Every two years, we're going to get an Avatar movie. That's annoying. 
And it's like, Jesus, bro, like, why did they do that? This ain't Star Wars. This ain't like the, like. No. No one. You had one hit. Yeah. Like, live with that. Ah, uh, it's so, I don't know why they're going. I don't know. Maybe I would be, I don't know why we're talking so much about this, but <laughs> I'd be more interested in it if it was like Avatar, but with a whole new set of cast, a whole nother planet, the Marines go to it, and it's another, it's another, story. like, it's an anthology series. It could be interesting. Because, like, I feel like once, after the first movie, that was enough. Yeah, it kind of wraps up. That movie up. was two hours, almost three hours, two hours and forty five minutes. Jesus, but Christ. uh, I don't want to rewatch that. Yeah, um, Avatar two, who it is going shit. up against Aquaman. That's actually going to be interesting. They're both coming out the I same. I think day. Aquaman's going to the the DC fan base is way bigger <laughs> than the Avatar fan base. Yeah, I you know I got a feeling this might bomb. Yeah, like I hope first, it does. The first one's really and I good. I hope he cancels They're the not rest. really good, but it did very good. Yeah, it did very good. And it's in. I I I really want to see how it fare how it fares up all all this time later. Okay. All right. What's next, Nick? December twenty first. December twenty first. We have an untitled Mario movie. Um, Chris Pratt is Mario. Yeah, we already got the cast of yeah. everyone from the Mario movies. We got. <laughs> we was talked it, about this. Was yeah. it Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong? He is Donkey Kong. We, yeah. Dude, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Who is uh, the fuck? A- Anya Taylor Joy is Peach. Yes. And Jack, yeah. Jack Black is Bla- Bowser. Yeah, Jack Black is Bowser. You Who's, know, I think that's a good cast. Yeah, for sure. I think honestly, all of these casts seem fine and fun. Yeah. Yeah, but the only one that's interesting is Chris Pratt because I just I want to see how he talks. Hey guys. <laughs> I don't think he's hey, gonna yeah, guys. I don't think he's he's gonna do a voice. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't think he's gonna do a voice. You know, I get Mario has an iconic voice in video games, but when you play the video games, he's not monologuing. Yeah, he's just saying like "Let's go" and like Woo-hoo. stuff like that. Yeah. He, he and in the movie, they they can't have him talking like that for a whole yeah. monologue. Yeah, like a big Mario. Like we oh, need to shit, get Peach. We, we need to go say the beats. Like, yeah. That would be so <laughs> annoying, so quick if he keeps talking Dude, the entirety. Of I the hope time. they do that. They're not gonna do that. We need to that's, go. And I, I think that's why they got Chris Pratt. We must do what today. <laughs> he's a good voice actor. Yeah, he from is. the Lego movie. The, yeah, the Lego movies hit. Yeah, and so I, I don't know. I would kind of want to. I'm mostly interested in how the voice will be. Yeah, I, I can trust him. Chris Pratt has had like voice acting and acting under his belt. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I, I think they're just probably gonna call it Mario. Probably. Or uh, or Mario and Friends, some shit like that. This is gonna be Mario. I'm calling it. Yeah, probably. Just, Maybe just that'd Super, be so lazy. Super Mario. Super Mario. Something that'd be a little better. But you know what? We're gonna see this movie, and uh, yeah, we we're gonna get the boys back on Jaden and uh, Christian. Uh, we should actually we should watch Sonic two with them, and then have Sonic a review, too, yeah. and then talk about. I know Sonic is Sega, but then bro, we'll they're gonna, they're gonna, we'll talk about the NCU, bro. They're gonna have them fight. Yeah, literally. Sonic is gonna fight Mario. Literally. We called it from like the second or third episode of this podcast, the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. Do you think you're building up to do that? Hap- Dude, they have to be, bro. The- <laughs> after looking at DC, after looking at Marvel, they're like, this is what we need to do. We have a franchise <laughs> that we can cash insane, in on. Man. Dude, it's kind of exciting, though. Think about it. Smash like, Bros. It's so crazy to think that these games that you played when you were a kid, to think like, yeah, man, 25 years, 20 years, however long it is, 20 years from now... There's going to be a movie, and it's going to be Mario fighting Sonic, fighting whoever. Fighting. Yeah, fighting Knuckles. <laughs> and it's going to be a live movie. That's going to be... I'm, I wonder how they're going to do the violence. I don't know. It's probably going to be video gamey. Yeah. Just like... We'll see. Power up. We'll see if it even comes to that. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Last one. Uh, The last anticipated movie of the year. We've got Babylon. And this is from the director of La La Land, Damien Chazelle. And he is... I guess doing another m- movie about classic Hollywood. I feel like a lot of his movies kind of revolve around that. And the All details I know about this is Margot Robbie's in it. Yeah, I'm excited for that. The details are under wraps, but it has Brad Pitt again. Hell yeah. Dude, Brad Pitt is fucking on a roll. I hope all these movies are good. Margot Robbie, uh Toby Maguire is in this. Really? Dude, that's fucking that's my, exciting. My boys back. And then we have directors Olivia Wilde um, from Get from Booksmart, and then Spike Jones is also in it. And yeah, no, that, I mean we don't know much about it. Oh, apparently Flea is in it too from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> really? That's fucking awesome. Well, I mean, it sounds like we got some big names. I it seems like it's gonna be one of those movies that is good. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, Damien Chazelle, like <laughs> the way you said, it, it's, it's good. good. <laughs> but uh, it it wrapped up filming in October, and it was actually supposed to to come out in January, which is mm. that sucks this month. Uh, but it got pushed back all the way to December, uh, because of COVID shakeups, of course. You hate to see it. And oh, I actually forgot to put this. We have Knives Out two. This is an undated release, but ah. it's a uh, it's an upcoming sequel to Rian Johnson's Who Done It, um, with Daniel Craig in it. And Daniel Craig's returning as uh, Benoit Blanc, who was the the Foghorn Leghorn <laughs> sounding ass <laughs> detective. And a, I can't do we it. actually <laughs> I was going to do the donut hole monologue. He's like, there's another donut, there's a hole. donut hole inside this smaller donut hole. <laughs> That's Dude, a that good was, movie. man. Yeah, that movie's awesome. Um, but yeah, we got we actually have the cast for this. I can talk about it. So it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting everyone from the original back, yeah, which is I, I great. I imagined it would be like he's doing yeah, a different. Yeah, I'm case. glad they're following the detective and do another who. I like I like that kind of. I idea. hope it's not called Knives Out too. I hope it's like <laughs> something different. Knives like, in, got <laughs> <laughs> knives away. Uh, but we got the cast, so let me list them off Spoons real quick. Out. We got Catherine Hahn, who uh, okay. played Agatha in uh, WandaVision. We got yeah, Dave yeah. Bautista. Oh. We got Edward Norton. Ah. Ethan Hawke, Ooh. Leslie Odom Jr. The real I, don't, I don't know who that is. He sounds familiar. Off the top uh, of my head, I don't know. Kate Hudson. Okay. We got Janelle Monet. Okay. Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh, oh shit, bro. Will, Will Smith. Will Smith's. Is, is that his wife? <laughs> that's his wife. His uh, that's Will Smith's husband's girlfriend. <laughs> that was, <laughs> it's we got it's Will Smith's. Uh, wait, what's those memes? Or is this like oh, like my uh. My my girlfriend's boyfriend has has this. I gotta get it. <laughs> <laughs> Some stupid shit. Oh gosh. Uh, we got Madeline Klein, and then Jessica Henwick. Um. Oh, Jessica Henwick's in uh, Game of Thrones. Oh really? She's Who? also an Iron Fist. She's the Iron Fist like love interest, and then oh. also she's one of the Sand Snakes. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Uh, so yeah. filming for the Netflix backed sequel began on the Greek island last summer and it wrapped in September. So so Netflix bought this. Uh, I guess it's going to be on Netflix. The original was That's was just in theaters. But you know what? I trust Netflix. I feel like they've gained enough notoriety now. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm now. cool with Ryan doing this because I bet you they paid him a ton of money. Yeah. After that first one. That first one was a success. Yeah. So I bet he had you no he, help. he got the bag. Yeah, I guarantee you, he got the bag. Yeah, I don't. I don't hold anything against point. Ryan anymore. I know I did because of the Last Jedi, but <laughs> that's the best movie in the whole Star Wars. I, trip. Dude, I'll give him his respect one, yeah. right now, and I'm excited for Knives Out, Dose, and uh, yeah, it seems like it already wrapped up filming, and it's going to be taking place on a, a Greek island somewhere. So that's very interesting. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited. To, who do you think done it? You know, since we <laughs> we have the do, cast list let's right do a here, quick thing. I I think it's gonna be. Let's see. Uh, I can say it again. We got Catherine Hahn, Dave Bautista. I hope it's not Jada. Uh, it may as well be. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's Ethan Hawke. If I'm being honest, I think it's gonna be Norton. Edward Norton. Yeah. He got that villainy voice. He does it really, but like I, I think did that's it. why it's him. I did it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're gonna see Knives Out in uh in theaters, and we'll we'll review that for sure. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah. And I, then, is that everything? But what I have, because I have a lot of no dates, but they're coming out this year. Yeah. So there's one more uh, last one undated? that's undated. Yeah. Okay. It's Killers of the Flower Moon. This is a Martin Scorsese cinema drama or crime drama. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, cinema. Cinema. <laughs> it's a crime drama uh, adapted from a best-selling novel, Ooh. and it has Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Is De- is uh, De Niro in it? They said De Niro? Question mark. So he, he's got. He's right, they, he throws it. this dude. In These right. dudes, they they never miss. Um, <laughs> and we don't really know that much about it. I mean, I mean if, if you've read the book, yeah. You know if you've read the happen. book, maybe you're more excited about it. But it says the movie centers around an FBI investigation on the real life murders of the Osage tribe in the 1920s Oklahoma. The real and life murders. Okay. It stars uh, indigenous actors. I think that's Penelope Cruz right there. Um, Penelope Cruz. But yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio's in it, so I'm excited about it. And All right, well, oh, that's L- Leonardo's in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said he, that. he's probably gonna be the detective. Yeah, I hope he so. wasn't he a detective in Shutter Island? Uh, I guess you could say that. Have you seen Shutter Island? Yes, I have. Yeah, I mean, you could say that. I think Mark Ruffalo is more of a detective than he is. Yeah, he pl- that was a, that's a good movie too. That movie's that, really that's good. also Scorsese. 
Dude, Scorsese it has range, bro. That's a good movie. Because he also did Wolf of Wall Street, which doesn't even feel like he would make that movie. Oh, yeah. That feels like something Michael Bay would make. <laughs> it, I don't it know. It really does, yeah. But that, that's, that movie, that, kind of, that like gave Margot Robbie her big break. Yeah. I think before that, no one knew who the fuck she was. Yeah, she was super young. She was just doing shit in like Australia TV. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, now that's that we, wrapping it up for all the movies. Oh, yeah. And then we're gonna get into all the games and stuff. Well, this and the, the is a TV lot. There's shows. a lot of TV shows and games that have no announcements that I'm kind of gonna go through pretty quick. Okay. Uh, so we everything that I've said so far, we had a, a release date or a month for. Yeah, like a general time. Uh, we're getting Better Call Saul season six. Let's which go. Which I didn't know they were making a sixth season of it. Yeah. Um, I'm not caught up. I'm on season two. Oh, you are. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? It, the season one is pretty slow. I'm hoping I've heard it gets better. I watched the first two episodes and like it's very slow. Yeah, because like he's taking care of his sick brother and like all that shit was happening. I wasn't really super interested, but yeah, it's I do I'd, like I'd say season Kurt. one is is written well, it's shot well, but it's pretty slow in terms of what happens. Yeah, and I think so far in season two, it's slightly picking up. Okay, but I I mean it's got to get. It's got to pick up at some point. <laughs> it's got to because like well, I've, people say it's amazing. Like people, some people say it's on the level of Breaking Bad. Damn. So I'm waiting for it to get to that. For that's me. cool. But yeah, okay. that's gonna be this said early 2022. So who knows what that means? That could be within okay. the next four or five months. It could be late 2022, or it could be delayed. Who knows? Knowing how to we TV never know works. this year. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, let's see. We talked about the boys. Lord of the Rings. Okay, so November, I actually had one for November. I forgot to mention The Crown season five. Do you know The Crown? It's about uh, the. Uh, oh, is that what the the, the guy who plays a uh, beast in um the X Men movies? It could be. I don't know. Is that the one about like the Russian dictatorship? Oh no! Like, oh, it's about it's about the Queen. Okay. And, and the Queen of England, and it starts off in like when she was younger, and then right now the last season was about Princess Diana when she first kind of like joined. And then season five is Diana again, and I guess it's going to deal with her death and a lot of oh. the real life drama that went on with that. Okay. I haven't watched it. I know my mom watched it and said it was really good. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that's November. No, uh, Late 2022, we're getting Westworld season four. Season four. Do they change it up every season? I don't know. Is that I, one of those? I haven't watched it, but I. this is what I was planning on watching once I finished Game of Thrones and I've now finally finished it. Yes. So I don't want to spoil. I know I think a twist in here even though I haven't seen it which okay. I won't spoil. But it's Westworld's probably I think their next biggest thing HBO is in terms of popularity okay. and writing. So that's well, maybe good. I can start watching it too. Yeah, you better bro. I finished Game of Thrones Late as well. 2022. Uh, okay all of these have no dates. Okay. So the first thing is a speaking of Game of Thrones a prequel Called House of the Dragon. I saw the trailer for this. Yeah. It wasn't much, but I'm excited about it. Yeah, so we got Matt Smith playing one of the Targaryens, and I don't know the actress's name that you see. And you also see a glimpse of, I think, the Mad King, who they talk about in Game of Thrones that Jamie Lannister killed him. Yeah. And then or Aegon. Was it Aegon? Aegon the Conqueror? It, it, is that his name? I know I know him as the Mad King. He I, was, I I think it was Aegon. He was the last Targaryen. Aegon Targaryen, yeah. Well, then why would his brother name Jon Snow after him? Oh, spoilers. I don't know. Well, we could talk about that in the Game of Thrones thing. Yeah, whatever. Um, but no, yeah, that's coming out. It's a prequel. It's actually there's actually a whole book that was released in 2018 that George R. R. Martin called like Fire and some I don't know. The Song of Fire. <laughs> that's but cool. Well, it's good because it's. They got a book to work for. Yeah, okay. That <laughs> I was worried it was going to be a prequel series with some random bullshit. Yeah, they, they just made it themselves. Yeah. So this is following a book. So this is written from George R. R. Martin. Yeah. It predates the what happens in yeah. Game of Thrones. So we're going to get more of the Targaryens. Yeah, is Amelia Clark going to be in it? Huh? I mean, will she be younger? Daenerys? Yeah, is Daenerys going to be in it? She, If she is, she's probably like a baby. Yeah. She's probably she, this is like... 20 years, probably. Yeah, this is probably like... Maybe 30, 40. Actually, it could be even like more than that, depending on where they start. I don't know yeah. when they will start. Um, because they could go as far as like a hundred years prior if they wanted to. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Okay. That's coming out. We don't know when, but I'm excited for that. We know it's this year. The uh King. we know Miss Marvel, Disney Plus, that's dropping at some point this year. Yes, yeah, sir. 
I really, uh, I'm, a, I guess I'm okay with that coming. Yeah, Halo. <laughs> I'll agree with you. Halo. Halo. Where That's is this on? Paramount Plus. Oh, fuck. So I don't feel like getting another streaming service. Actually, I think. Actually, no. Never mind. I had a free trial, but it's up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I haven't used mine. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'll wait and maybe I'll watch Halo. That's yeah. I'd like to review Halo. I like Halo. And I feel like yeah. the, a new Halo game came out. It'd be pretty relevant. Yeah, that's true. Um, what Moon else? Knight. I'm very excited for Moon Knight. Ooh, yeah. We had some trailers of this. Yeah, we did. We got Oscar Isaac doing that yeah. very British accent. <laughs> I, c- I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell the night dies with the... <laughs> that's how he sounds. Oh gosh. I'm excited. Oscar yeah, Isaac yeah. is exciting. Uh, Obi-Wan, the show. Ooh. Now, this is a big This one. is a... Cr- uh, Hayden Christensen's Hayden coming back Christensen. as Darth Vader. So yeah. is Ian McGregor. Uh, we don't know who else. We'll get. Probably might be some other surprises. Where? Did, where? Did, okay. This takes. There's place. so much we can speculate. Oh, you, you know the timeline. Oh yeah. Okay. Tell me place. the timeline then. So we when we last saw in Revenge of the Sith. Yes. He just became Darth Vader, and Ian Got McGregor is there watching over Luke from afar on Tatooine. It's gonna take place maybe. I'd say like. 20 to 30 years before um, before A New Hope and maybe like 20 years after the uh, the third one, Revenge of the Sith. Okay. So it's like somewhere in between there. Okay. And they've already said that Darth Vader and him are going to fight again. So they're going to see each other at least one more time. That we know so of. that means they fought three times. I hope yes. they don't mess up the canon because like... I'm sure they've thought really hard to not yeah, mess up yeah. anything. I mean, honestly, in A New Hope when like when obi-wan dies spoilers like it's kind of underwhelming but it was like the first star wars movie yeah like, this, the, just, the fighting back then was very touching sabers <laughs> i mean they didn't know what they were doing well um i think darth vader says like when you last saw me obi-wan like i was like you were the master or like something i am the master now or something like that yeah yeah i don't know so we'll see but that's exciting i'm, a, I'm very excited, I'm very excited for that. yeah i love to see them together yeah, on I can't screen wait. again man uh she hulk is oh. coming out this year as well. Do you think we're going to get a trailer soon? Depends when they drop it. You know, if all these Marvel movies are coming out, they're going to have to space them out. Yeah. So Either I feel like, like summer. I'm surprised they haven't announced one yet. I'm sure we get one in summer. Yeah. I'd imagine I'd put Moon Knight around october times. Yeah. Like I'd put it around then. Yeah. Miss Marvel. Oh, dude. Maybe summer. They're, they're, I really like, don't. I don't mean to be mean, but I have no interest in it. I don't want to say I don't care. Well, I I was interested up until I heard that they fucked up her powers and that she's not even going to be an inhuman. What? In the comics, she's an inhuman, and she has, like, the same powers as Mr. Fantastic. Okay. So she stretches and shit, but she uses hers different. He kind of just stretches. Yeah. Um, She she basically stretches and, like, makes big-ass fists, and she makes (laughs) herself big and shit like that. Okay. But they're not doing that. They're doing more of a Green Lantern thing. Where she like creates like pink or purple looking like big fists. Oh, like hologram. Yeah. Okay. So she's doing like a Green Lantern thing, which is kind of lazy. I want to see like a big. I do too. Dude, I don't want Marvel to like tone down the the wacky shit from the comics. I would love to see it on screen. Yeah, I want to see it, man. I love seeing. So that has me worried about it. Okay. Uh, The Last of Us. Oh, the TV show is Pedro Pascal. The girl from Game of Thrones, little girl, is playing Ellie. Which girl? She's the one that got picked up by the uh, the giant. Oh. And then like she stabs him. Oh, in the eye dude, she was a badass. Yeah, that was fucking girl. crazy. Yeah. That was a uh, minor spoilers. Um, It'd be like that. And okay. It's been I'm, out for years. You have, if you haven't seen it, it's on you. Yeah, I know. That was like literally six years ago. But yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for that, dude. Pedro Pascal. He's yeah. done with the Mandalorian. This year. I'm excited I'm, for that. There's I'm a very lot ex- of good stuff coming out this year. Yeah. We got a lot to watch, dude. We got to space this out. Yeah. Secret Invasion. What is this? I've not heard of so this. So Secret Invasion is another Marvel thing. Okay. It's uh, the scrolls because they're they're shapeshifters. Okay. So a lot in the comics there was a big comic storyline where there was a lot of undercover scroll agents that were big Marvel heroes that you had no idea. Like I think fucking, I think fucking Captain America was a scroll or some bullshit or some or Iron Man Nick, was. Okay, I got a question real quick. Was Nick Fury a scroll in Spider Man? Far from home. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he was. I just needed to know that. <laughs> that I was super. That's the post-credit scene. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I missed that. It's the one. It's the same scrolls from Captain Marvel. Yeah, because he's like chilling on the. It's Talos and his wife. Yeah. And they're all like, "Fuck." <laughs> that dude's <on."> funny. <laughs> yeah. I like how they made them all like evil in the in the trailer for Captain Marvel, and then they're just like, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> so these are. I guess this is gonna have to do with the more evil scrolls. Because okay. in that one, the big twist was this group of scrolls weren't bad, and they were just like refugees. They chilling. 
Yeah, and they're vibing. Yeah. And so I think now we're going to probably see some of the bad scrolls. Okay. And Nick, we know Nick Fury is in this. There's one little look we saw at this. Not much. We literally just really? see Nick Fury. It's it's nothing. There's no real okay. trailer. It's Don't literally just like a picture of Nick Fury. And then he like turns around and he's not wearing his eye patch and you just see his eye. The fuck? It just looks gray. Okay. Yeah. Which interesting. Whatever. Well, I, mean, I hope there's a lot of Marvel heroes in it. I want to see Spider Man in this. I oh, don't. I don't know if that's going to that be possible. Damn. I mean, I doubt it. Like, I would love to see crazy shit like that, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but we don't know much about that. But apparently, it's coming out this year. But I'm gonna not gonna lie to you. This is one of those ones where I'm not even sure if it's coming out this year. This yeah. feels to me like they because they this just got announced like I think a couple months ago. Yeah. Usually they announce it like a year prior. This could have been filmed already or started filming. I don't know for sure. Yeah. But like, I feel like this I never might know what, be this might be a year off. I never know what Marvel is doing behind the scenes. I feel like this is dropping at earliest december that's what i was gonna say because yeah. they're gonna set up all these heroes and villains and shit and then secret invasions mm-hmm. is gonna happen but even then i don't even know if they'll drop it in december because we know which is right here my next thing mandalorian season three is dropping and they usually drop in december oh shit. so season three of mandalorian is gonna be next december we got Bo- book of boba fett going on right Wait, now okay so then book of boba fett's its own separate thing yeah is mandalorian still gonna follow pedro pascal yes okay Dang, I totally misinformed my girlfriend then, because oh, she was all she was all like, so like it's just Book of Boba Fett, like the Mandalorian is done, and I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like it's minor spoilers, no major spoilers, he gave Baby Yoda away to Luke, so you're and like, so yeah, he's done. yeah, I was like, he's done, like I'm pretty sure his story's wrapped up, and I was like, yeah, it kind of sucks. Okay, nah, the big there's a I, big thing they gotta wrap up how he's got the 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 dark saber now. Yeah, that's right. And the okay. one girl wants it because she wants to rule Mandalore. Yeah. But he's like, I don't want it. Like, you could have it. Yeah. And then she's just like, nah, like, that's not you how it fight works. For it. I got to fight you for it. And he's like, bro, just take it. It's like, please. Yes. <laughs> but so that's got to be wrapped okay. up. Okay. All right. So there's more shit. That's next December. All right. Sweet. Uh, I'll let her know about that. There's an an- apparently, there's a show for Star Wars called Andor, which follows one of the characters from Rogue One. What's his name? Diego Luna. Uh, the actor he was one of the uh, guys one of the rebels I yeah think he was the one that kissed uh jen urso jen urso at the end yeah so we're I mean, gonna what else could you do him. bro they were they were about to die he was like i just need one more he was like please <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> rogue smash. rogue one rogue one is good it is good. rogue one is a i love good rogue movie. one it's a, I, I don't know how people don't like it i know i don't understand it like i the point, the, for me, the reason why it's good is the fucking scale. Like, the cinematography and the scale. Yeah. Some of the shots, like, it's like, holy it's shit. It's like a part of Star Wars you didn't know you needed. Yeah. And then, like, it's it feels really so much more Star wars than all these new films. It really does. It's, it's really, like, if, like, the Mandalorian matched its style so well. It did. That's that's why so I So that's think I coming like. out, apparently, this year. Prequel. Okay. I, Andor? It's called Andor. I guess his character's last name was called Andor. Okay. I don't know. I thought that was the name of a planet. I didn't... I wasn't I think sure. That's Endor. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Yeah. Anyway, that's okay. And then one person said, one site, an article said Loki season two, but I wrote bullshit because that just ended last summer. Yeah. And they, I, I swear to God, they haven't filmed yet. No way. I don't think they filmed. I don't even. Th- yeah. Don't, Tom no Hiddleston's way. taking a break, bro. Yeah. There's no way. Let him I, chill. So I wrote bullshit. I don't <laughs> you think wrote that's coming. <laughs> Okay, I'd think, like to see Loki season two, but I don't think we're going to get this year. this year. No, no. Way. maybe like next four year. Other Marvel shows coming yeah. out this year. Let, let it breathe. Let it's it breathe. Definitely 2023 at some point. Maybe probably yeah. late 2023. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so video games now. These are the last couple Wrapped things up we got. Yeah. TV shows. Yeah, that's all the TV shows for the year. Nice. Uh, all these video games. Last one we talked about was Starfield, which is November 11th. Okay. And then all of these have no date. So we got God of War Ragnarok. You told me about this. Yeah. This is exciting. You, have you played it yet? No. Nah. I actually have it downloaded though, so I could start okay, playing yeah, it. Okay, yeah. It's really good. I'll start playing it now. When you get into it, you're going to like the story. Is it like very, RPG type? It's very engaging. Like yeah. Sky, Skyrim? It's, it is, but you're like role playing as Kratos, I guess. Okay. But is like, the fighting and shit cool? So like good. the mechanics? The combat is very good. It's very rewarding. Really? Whereas the original ones are just like you're spamming the buttons and like beating everyone. This one you have to like parry because you're an older Kratos. Yeah. So you're you're not con you're not OP. Yeah. You you have a rage meter so you can like use a that. Rage and you meter. have like a limited thing. Ugh. It's really dude. <laughs> the first boss fight is oh man you're, it's really fun. Okay, I'll, you're, I'll you're hop on it tonight. Game. It's great. Uh, so I'm excited for that. 
Gotham Knights. We've talked about this. Oh yeah, a couple times. still excited. Yeah, we know it's coming out. <laughs> it's coming out this year. I'm yeah. excited. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We've Let's also go. talked about it. We finally saw a gameplay a couple months, like actually just a month ago. Yeah. Um, looks good. I'm yeah, excited. I'm still very excited. I can't wait to play with uh, my friends. I know. Yeah, uh, we should all get that because we yeah, can play. We, we oh, dude. If if you and Marco Game Share and Jay and I Game Share, that's four people. Yeah. Right there. That's a Hell full yeah. squad. Man, that's I'm four, down. I bet. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. What so is this it? is the Harry Potter. What is this? So it's like Harry Potter. You know Harry Potter? Hogwarts? I think so. Yeah. So this is, you create your own, you go to the wizard school. It's kind of like Skyrim except okay. like an RPG, but you're going to Hogwarts. So you're a student. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's actually really cool. It's fun. I'm surprised they haven't done something like this before. I know. It feels like every Harry Potter thing is always attached to the, the Harry Potter storyline. It's cool that they're like... <laughs> going yeah doing something different so this out of the is, box i'm interested to see how this will fit in because they have to put it somewhere that doesn't mess with the canon yeah so we'll see but that i'm interested maybe for that. early hogwarts i don't know maybe yeah maybe early so, but then maybe we'll see young you can be young dumbledore or something young or you could see him when he's young <laughs> young blood <laughs> uh i threw this in because it's an indie game that is really good i recommend you playing okay uh, it's called hollow knight but they're making a sequel to it Ooh. so that's that, that that's cool okay uh zelda breath of the wild 2 Ooh. the sequel to that i still haven't played breath of the wild i've heard, I've heard the really first good. one was pretty good i've heard it's really good some people actually put it like number one in the last decade Jesus. of games which is dude insane. what the fuck yeah <laughs> so you know how many have, great games have come out that's saying Skyrim a lot came out in the last decade that's saying a lot Arkham City came out in the last decade. Yeah. Red Dead 2 and I don't know about one. Actually, no, one came out in the last decade. Yeah. I think it came out like 11. Yeah. 12. Red Dead 2 is great. Both of them are great. There's a God of War. So many good games. But they're yeah. saying this is the best. And this is the sequel to it. I've The most I've played of Zelda is literally the the one on the fucking Game Boy. Oh, yeah. Those old ones. The, <laughs> the 2-bit one. Those are fun. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, I want to play this at some point. Okay. Uh, Kirby the Forgotten Land. You know Kirby? Shit, yeah. Big dude. He sucks people. Yeah. So <laughs> this is Kirby's first 3D platformer, which I'm surprised we haven't gotten before. Okay. So you know he has a lot of side scrollers. Yeah. So just like Mario used to have side scrollers, mm-hmm. and he had like the new Super Mario side scrollers. Kirby had new side scrollers. This is his first one where he's like in a 3D world. Finally. <laughs> it's about Finally. Time. So you're gonna do something as Kirby. Okay. It looks looks interesting. Nice Nintendo game. Uh, oh, Kirby's Nintendo. Yeah, he is. Interesting. Multiverses is coming out at some point this year. I don't know when. Multiverses is the game that's like Warner Brothers and DC characters fighting. So it's got like Batman and Harley Quinn and like Gandalf, Jake and Finn the dog. What the from fuck? Adventure Time. Maybe Mordecai mm-hmm. and Rigby might show up. We don't Yo. know yet. It's, it's a mix of all of those characters. Is it like Smash Bros? It's for like Smash Bros for HBO Warner Brothers. HBO Max. So with... Warner Brothers, I believe, has Harry Potter, so we could see them show up. Maybe we don't know for sure. Who else is in it? Um, some other Cartoon Network characters like Steven Universe, we got Game of Thrones, we oh, got yeah, John Looney Tunes, Arya Stark is in it. Yeah, yeah, Superman. They, they have a lot of potential for this. Dude, and this shit looks. Dude, what the fuck, Scooby Doo? Oh yes, Shaggy's in Shaggy. Shaggy, bro, can go Super Saiyan. I know. Um, is that meme gonna come back where Shaggy's yeah. like? fucking they actually a god like showed a, a picture or gameplay of him fighting and he has like the ultra instinct looking <laughs> dude <it's> so <laughs> shit look at him oh yeah um you know what man i, I think i might cop this well, yo matthew it's lillard yeah, it's free yeah it's gonna be free they said it's gonna be oh hell uh, yeah. anyone can download it for free and then i'm guessing what they'll do is what fortnite does and if you want other characters that drop or maybe like cosmetics you gotta okay. pay for it yeah that's the, probably what they do okay yeah, it's looking like a little Smash Bros type game. Yeah, it's like a Smash Bros Arena. type fighting game. Okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, and then the last game I have dropping this year is the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Oh. So this is going back to like our childhood when you yeah. played those original I, Lego I games. I played this on the computer, bro. Oh, yeah. Those OG ones. They're having those, re- not even just remastered, remade from the ground up. So it's going to be awesome. completely remade. All those original, the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy, and now the sequel trilogy, all of them. In a, all nine movies? Yes, everything. And Hell even yeah. Rogue One and Mandalorian stuff too. Really? Everything Star Wars wow. so far that's came out is going to be in this game, and it's going to be brand new, and it's going to have everything. There's going to probably be the biggest, I've heard the biggest roster of characters that they've ever had in a Lego game. That's and awesome. And you know they always have hella characters. Yeah, even in like the original one when it was just oh, like yeah. the, the, the main trilogy. 
that was a lot of characters. It's crazy, man. That's fucking cool. I'm excited for that. I probably will get multiverses. I'll probably get Ragnarok and I'll probably get that Star Wars. I think most of those I I remember some of them I'll wait on, but a lot of those ones like Elden no, yeah. Ring I want to get. Like, oh yeah. I think I'm going to pre-order that. Like, <laughs> I didn't know that uh that George R. R. Martin had a, when I heard that, a finger I was, in the pie, I, I bro. I knew about the Dark Souls stuff. I found out later on. Yeah. I, but the George R. R. Martin thing, I was like, dude, like I, I got to get this. Yeah, because when I heard it was another Dark Souls game, I was like, okay, like we kind of get those every couple of years, but this sounds cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. really excited for this. So everybody, that is everything. Yeah. <laughs> to that was a lot to, to unpack. To anticipate in pop culture for 2022. Yep. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot of movies. That's pretty much the what, the catalog, the preview of what you're gonna see on this this podcast. Yeah, we're not gonna review all the all the shit that probably will not not mid. everything word for word. Not Miss Marvel. Some of the, no. <laughs> some of them might be like things in passing. Like it's like yeah, I'll watch it. It's pretty good. Yeah. Other ones, you know, the big names, yeah. Doctor Strange, Batman. Those will be going in on. This summer is gonna go crazy. This summer oh, seems pretty wait. stacked. This summer is gonna be sick. I'm excited. So. That's everything, guys. Happy New Year from all of us over here at Cosmic. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Nick, I think that's it for this episode. You want to wrap it up? Yeah. So subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. Uh, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment on what you guys are excited for. If anything we forgot to mention, uh, go follow the Instagram page, the Twitter page. Uh, follow us on Reddit, on Discord. We're everywhere. Oh yeah, we got a Discord. Go We're check everywhere. it out on there if you want to. Yeah, join. we might hop on. Maybe we could do chats on Discord. That'd be that'd be yeah, kind of join fun the with Discord. Our we might have. I I I, I want to add some like to the, you could host like movie nights on there. Yeah, that'd be cool. You could host game nights. I'd you love to host. do something like. There's that. There's a lot of cool stuff Discord can do. Yeah. So yeah, go check all of that out in the description. If you're listening, thank you. Make sure to leave a like and follow the podcast where you're at, or leave a review. That helps as well. Always helps. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.